Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. It is 7.30ish for me, so it's evening for sure. Um, hope everyone's doing well today. We had Raven, Kobobo, Ride, and Braybron in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. This is our second stream today, technically, because we did a sub only one early, but this one is for everybody. Because tonight on our island, I have shooting stars once again on the final day of September. So, you know, we're going to end the month with a bang. Right now, um, I'm decorating because I'm trying to make like a little party area for you guys. So once I have this all set up, then people can come in. Um, just a gentle reminder, even though the stream is for everybody, only subs can join the island. I apologize for any inconvenience, but it's mainly for my safety. Because, you know, I don't want people to say gamer words in the chat, so. Yay. Um, so I'm gonna finish decorating, so politely. Or I'll show you guys when I'm decorating in a second. The outfit change, yeah, I took a bath. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear the same clothes. You guys would make fun of me. <laughs> okay, so let's finish decorating. That way chatters can come in. <clears throat> oh, so you can see what song I'm listening to up top. I was like finding furniture for me to like place up for today and I thought I was like oh yeah I'll definitely need the life ring you know I gotta play lifeguard I guess <laughs> dude I don't know how to swim I've, I've almost drowned like three times it's actually kind of concerning okay I think the only thing I need now is food so let's get y'all some food because I can't decorate once people come to the island. That's the problem. So. Heads up and touch the sky. <laughs> it's the <this> song. <laughs> Do you think you guys want hamburger? Wait, I don't even have hamburgers. I thought that was it's a sandwich. Sad. Let's get some warm food, because we're heading to fall. Wait, from this morning? What did I wear today? I can't even remember what I wore. Okay, I think that's all the food I want to hand out. What did I even wear? I can't even remember what I wore today. Oh, wait, I had the coat. That was it. Is that what you're talking about? Okay, so I'm gonna place, like, the main food. Oh, the jacket. Yeah, that jacket, it was kind of expensive. Because I think the normal price was, like, 80 but it was on sale for, like, 60 which is still kind of expensive, mind you. Wait, I can only put one thing on these tables? Dude, that's such a waste. Why, why can't I put two things? Oh, I think I just placed a funny kind. Yeah, because the only problem with that coat is that it's slightly too small. And, like, the arms are kind of stiff. So it's hard to like move in it, so I don't wear it out. <laughs> I just wear it in. Because if I wore it out, it would be embarrassing. Also, I see some stars in the background. Oh, I can place the bench, because I want to have pe places where people like sit. As we stargaze. Oh, what's this song? Oh, it's this one. Okay, it's like. I haven't heard it in a while. Okay, so chatters, if you want to come to the island and you're a sub, please type in the chat, say, I want to join or some shit like that. Because I need to send you the code directly via whisper. That way you don't get any snipers. Wait, there's food? Yeah, you can craft food in the game.
Because I think the plan for tonight will probably go for like two hours and then we'll just talk to chat. Kind of like we did the last stargazing stream. Also, one right there. Another one. DJ Khaled. Oh my god, there's so many. I didn't think they spawned this early. So I think they spawned from like 7 till 2 a.m. I'm kinda too lazy to get my switch. Sag. <laughs> Come on, this is the one in a lifetime opportunity. I don't play with viewers often. Oh! I got it last second. I had a list of topics, and I made it into, like, a draft folder, and then I deleted it by accident. Well, if you look look at the palm trees in the back, you can see them like light up. See, all oh, the depth perception. That's wild. <laughs> Meg esports. I think we're gonna do Uno for October's Meg esports event or Mario Party again. I think Uno would be fun because then that's more like quick play. But I was thinking about it, and if you played Uno, then you guys could see my card deck on stream. Like that could be a problem. Or maybe. Wait. Hmm. I could have, like, my face cam covering my deck, but then the actual viewers wouldn't be able to see. Like, the people who aren't playing. So that's something I gotta figure out. I got a few weeks, though. Yeah, I think Uno would go crazy. Because I know when I play Uno IRL, like, I... <laughs> I'm a tryhard. Like, I'm the guy who's, like, smacking the hands on the table to get the cards. You know, it says passive-aggressive techniques you can use to intimidate others without necessarily harming them directly, so it's totally fine. <laughs> Uno is mostly luck? Not really, there's still some strategy to it. Like, it's not fully RNG. You just have to use your cards wisely. I think it's funny when your villagers will just walk up to you and stare at you. <laughs> it's just like, okay, dude. Okay, now that we're streaming at nighttime, we get a lot of, like, possums and squirrels, like, on our roof and then they get into our attic. You can, I can hear them scurrying around right now. I don't think you guys can hear it. But they're like... <laughs> like, they're so fucking loud. Because, like, we don't put, like, pesticide down or anything. Because, like, we don't want to kill them. Like, usually my dad will set up traps and then he'll release them. My friends will work together to turn and mess people up if they're leading. But that's how you're supposed to play the game. You know, you gotta play to win. And whoever's winning, you gotta take them down. It's called collective action. Hey, yo! I wanna join? Cool! Thank you for that resubscription at tier 1, Elizabeth. I appreciate you. Um, you're gonna get your name written in the sub journal. And I will send you that dodo code right now, hun. And it's gonna be in your whispers, okay? Oh, you've never chatted? Oh, don't be scared to chat, hon. It's okay. Because uh, basically, we're just doing... We're chilling, catching stars. Oh. <laughs> Low mouth. <laughs> okay, I sent you the code, Elizabeth. 
I hate how that little pop up, cause like the way I capture the leaderboard is the screen capture. I hate how the pop ups come out. It's D U M. I want to join, but it's gonna be a sec. No problem. That's okay. You know we got all night, and by all night I mean like an hour or two. I mean, like I could stay up tonight, cause I don't have anything really to do tomorrow. Besides, because we're doing calligraphy and then sketch cards tomorrow. Okay, I've decided I'm going to distribute these one by one. I don't want anybody taking them all. Just play all night? I could. You know, we got to get all the stars we can, right? Using that September discount. Yeah, September ends at 12 p.m. PST. Meaning, y'all got four more hours to subscribe... It's 25% off. Mod check stars. Also, if you're on Twitch desktop, I added um, Halloween versions of the most popular emotes for 7TV. So if you haven't already, download the 7TV extension. That way you can see haha -ha emotes. I think it's interesting what to see which chatters will watch during an evening. Where'd the clam go? There it is. During an evening time slot. So you usually don't sleep stream this late. I'm already slurring. <laughs> Love <Lomo. laughs> Oh, there's one. Oh, what a fitting song this is. Every look, every touch. <laughs> that was about to say, I'd give to anyone who wants to join and realize that's a bad idea. I mean, most of my chatters are subs, because Oilers usually gift them anyway. But yeah, don't don't make that commitment. <laughs> All the non-subs are gonna come out of the woodworks. <laughs> Cutie Cinderella, she did a stream last night and she titled it Matching All Gifted Subs I Get Today. And she got like Nearly a thousand subs in her first hour of streaming is crazy. Because, like, I kind of wanted to do a stick like that. But I was like, no. I was like, no. <laughs> the askers could be trolls too. Exactly. Exactly. I didn't see if she matched it, though, because I couldn't watch her full stream last night, but... Just the concept alone is insane. I mean, she's like a bigger streamer, obviously, so she can most likely afford it. That sounds iconic. Yeah, it's a crazy idea. Because, like, to me, somebody who makes a good content creator or a good streamer, they have to think of their own ideas and be able to stand on their own. Whether it be like, if they like, if you gave them a studio budget, would they be able to create like a good production? That's my indicator of if they're a good content creator or not. Cause you'll see a lot of smaller creators and say, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to make. And if they were given like 10K, would they make something good? And if in my head, I think no, then I think they're they could try harder, you know what I mean? It's kind of like the people who want success to fall in their lap. And they expect, oh, because I spent so much time and so much quote-unquote work, I deserve a platform where I, de I deserve influence. But if you can't make good content, then it's not going to happen. Like, I know I myself, I'm not making anything fantastic, 
But I genuinely think if I had a studio budget, if I had a production crew, I think I could think of some good ideas. Hey yo! Someone's on their way here. Also, if anybody wants to visit, just tell me, and I'll send you the code via Whisper for your subscriber. Oh, Ariel? Did you sketch the portrait card? Not yet. <laughs> what did I do after stream this morning? Uh, I edited, and then... I watched a stream. Can I join too? Yeah, if you want to, I can send you the code, Ed. Anybody can join as long as you're a sub. I'll whisper you the code, Ed, right now. Oh, wrong. Copy and paste. Lone Mal. Okay, I sent you the code, Ed. The reason why I'm sending it through whispers is so we don't get snipers. Came in to say hi? I'll save you some stars, of course. But hi, Luigi. I'm gonna sketch out the cards tomorrow morning. Because it doesn't take long to sketch, typically. Unless I actually, like, want to get, like, really good base shapes and forms down. Oh, I just realized you can't see what song I'm listening to. Lumo. <laughs> I wish I had more of, like, these bobbers. Like, the little head thing. Because then I could pass them out. Because I think you get, like, one a week from Isabel. Hello! Oh my god, your dress is so cute. It's got the music note on it. Oh my god, that's adorable. Ariel's <laughs> outfit is a dub. I know. Okay, well, you know, here's some refreshments. Hi, Yana! Welcome in. It's been a bit. Hope we're doing well, man. Okay, well, plan for today is simple. We're, we're gonna hang out, eat food, and catch some stars. You know, that that's the plan. We don't got anything else. Have we been doing well? Like, I've been doing pretty good. Oh my god, you're actually eating it so cute. I was trolling. <laughs> But things have been pretty good recently. Oh, I've started playing Eastward on stream. Because I think the last stream I caught of yours, Yana, because it's been a bit, was you were playing Eastward. And now I'm playing it. Maybe I'm copying you. I don't know. So many chatters I've never seen. Yeah, this is the evening time slot. No more EU frogs. No, no. Can't even call it. I wonder, can you catch stars when you're sitting down, maybe? Okay, that- I don't like that angle. <laughs> Hold. Stop, why is- it, stop, Why is it sitting this way? Can I steal fruit? Yeah, which ones do you need? There, you can take some. Because I- I- Since I have every single fruit- I think Chatters, I think it was Mac who brought me all the fruit that I have. I get cherries. Because I, I have so much fruit in my inventory. Okay, I think that's ample. If, if chatters want to take him, you can. <laughs> what if the EU people have bad, bad sleep schedules? Well, that's their fault and not mine. Oh, you got a job? Ayo! Getting that bag. I'm glad to hear that, Yana, because I think last time you said you were applying, right? That's good. Like, I know that I should get a job, but, you know, life happens, and my parents are still being supportive. Um, but, where'd my shovel go? Mod check? But I'm making somewhat... Okay, obviously not livable, but good passive income through streaming, so I'm gonna stick with it for now. Mod check any stars? <laughs> Just Ariel like watching behind me. Cool with no blankets on her bed. Now 
That game is so sick. Yeah, because I beat it. Because it came out last year, right? And I think on stream I played the prologue and then chapter one. Like, I remember, like, the, the baseline of the story. But just replaying it, I realized how much I love the game. Yo. <laughs> oh. Not that weird. Okay, are all the stars gone now? Sag. They can't be gone already. I think it's so funny how the act natural pose is... It's like you're posing for IG pics. Anyway. I, I should give, like, my question book out again. I don't even know where I put it. Because a few months ago, I got, like, a book and it has, like, 500 questions in it or some shit. And I would use that whenever I didn't have any topics. But I haven't touched that book in months. Because, you know, I'm able to talk on my own now. <laughs> You're a pro now? Ayo. Hey, I think... I, I talk about streaming all the time. I think it okay. Hot take. I think it's really interesting and kind of counterintuitive when people like base their all their content off of stream tips and they aren't even like partnered themselves. Hey yo! Holy shit, why is Cass up? You're you're East Coast. You're supposed to be sleeping, man. <laughs> But thank you for that gifted sub, Cass. I appreciate that. Oh, hey. Hey, dude. Hey, yo! We had our sub go. Holy shit. But thank you, Cass. Enjoy that September discount. You are going to get your name written at the end of stream in this sub only journal. Thank you. <laughs> West of <her. laughs> Yeah, let's keep W chat room, guys. W chat room. Can we get some W's? Dude, I love the W streamers so much. They're, like, so entertaining to watch. I, I say this every time, but they always seem like they're having fun, you know? Oh, wait. Did we hit our sub goal? No shot. No shot. Okay. New sub goal is 110. If we hit 110, then I think we get Odyssey stream, right? Oops. Why does it always fuck up the thing? Yeah, if we hit 110, it's going to be Odyssey stream. Dude, if I have to do a... Okay, if we do darker side... Oh! Oh, no! I just missed it. The concept for the darker side stream is stream ends when I beat darker side. It's gonna be hell. Because the last time I played Odyssey was, like, literally a year ago. And, like, I've been itching to play it, but I still need to get all the stars and, um... Um, flagpoles for SM3 SM Day World. The next sub goals went. I mean, you said you wanted to contribute to get the goals you wanted, so. Because, like, I think all the rest of the long term sub goals are games that I have purchased. Because I, ha I still have to buy Cult of the Lamb and then Kirby's Dream Buffet. And then everything else I own already, so. I should have spaced out the games that I need to purchase, but you know, it's fine. Oh, I hate this song. Why am I listening to it? <laughs> it's stupid. Mask off. <laughs> I want Pokemon game? No. I don't want to play Pokemon. I think the only Pokemon game I have played is Pokemon Sword. And I got bored of it. Because I got to, like, the jungle area and I hated grinding. Oh, it's so cute. We're, li like, wishing in sync. That's so cute. We're just, like, that hit 90s band. Oh, my God. So many. Dude, if we get stars all night, that'd be crazy. You know what sucks, though? No matter how many, like, stars you wish upon, you get the same amount of star shard pieces, I think, right? Because I think we did this for like two hours the last time we had shooting. Oh! Hey, yo! Looks like Ed is coming in. I was saying. Because like we, we collected stars for like two hours. But then I only got like ten star pieces. It was a big disappointment. Just like your parents said. Anyway. 
<laughs> also, any chatters, if you want to join, tell me. And if you're a sub, I'll send you the code. Which Pokemon game would you play? Uh, oh wait, I, I played Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. That's another one that I played. That one was fun. Um... <laughs> No snitches, no leakers, but for that Pokemon Subco stream, I kind of wanted to play like a, a bootleg Pokemon game and be like, ha, I trolled you, boy, or some stupid shit, but if we hit it in time, oh wait, no way we'd hit the sub goal in time by November. Like, when's the new Pokemon game coming out? Or wait, <gasps> oh my god, is that a Mario? Holy... <laughs> That's great. <laughs> um, maybe I kind of want to play Arceus. I kind of want to play Arceus, not the troll. No, Ed is a good chatter. Halloween stream plans? I don't have any. I might play like a scary game. I gotta think about it. Okay, welcome in, Ed. Guys, we have Mario on our island, resident celebrity. Welcome in. You know, I love your games. I'm looking forward to the movie that's coming out. Here's some refreshments. Enjoy. Feel free to hang out. Take a seat. Lay down. Hey. People, hey. Well, we got two people. Yo. I need to figure out how to get that pumpkin bucket that Mac had earlier. Hopefully that's part of like the Halloween event or something. Oh, you meant troll as in me, Lomao. <laughs> Yo. Oh, that's cute. Why do you have a fedora, though? <laughs> Why, though? Huh? Oh my god, earlier today? Wait, I'm gonna actually pull up the clip. Hold, Shatters. Because we played earlier today, and Crystal posted a clip on Twitter. Oh shit. I retweeted it, so if you want to see the full video, it's on my Twitter. Oh, right here, right here, right here. It doesn't have sound, I don't think. Oh, it does. You can't hear it though. But look, look at what she says! An internet superstar? Huh? Dude, that was wild, <laughs> because, like, I remember during the stream, I was making fun of Crystal for, like, talking to Ellie as I'm, like, talking. And, dude, the RNG of that dialogue, insane. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I thought that was cool. If you want to see that full clip, or if you want to see other tweets and funny shit that I post, follow me on Twitter. Oh my god, Luigi isn't here to see Mario? Oh no. Big sad. Yeah, I'm gonna lay down for a bit. Take a nap. You know, Animal Crossing stream to fall asleep to. I'll fall asleep. Can I join? Of course. I'll send you that code right now, hun. Ah! <laughs> the stupid notif. It's D U N. What are you guys' thoughts on Travis Scott? I don't like his vocals at all. Like, I don't like any of his regular songs. Or, like, whenever he's on a feature, I'm just like, this doesn't sound nice. I was thinking about it the other day. And I think the reason why people enjoy, like, the mumble rap is because, like, you need to, like, concentrate and listen to them to understand what they're saying. So, it, like, it's one of those distraction techniques to where you focus on one sense. 
and it kind of like takes over everything so you have to like focus on it and distract yourself i legitimately think that's the reason why people like mumble rapping not because like it sounds nicer but because it's a different experience yeah travis scott is not the best guy it's like abstract kind of yeah i think that's another good way to describe it he's straight up poop weirdo <laughs> a little bit more about energy than lyrics, yeah. It's more like vibe type shit, right? <laughs> What's Ed doing back here? Am I stretching? <laughs> okay, well, I'm listening to like the lyrics now, it's not as bad. Hey, yo! Thank you for that resub, Titans. I appreciate that. Five months? It do be 9.30 today. Ew. Wait, because you technically subscribed on the first, right? Or the day before, maybe? I don't know. But thank you. I appreciate you, Titans. You should be going to bed, too, though. You're going to get your name written in the calligraphy journey. I think I'm just early, probably. <clears throat> You know what? I wish this guy would leave my island. Call me Fred. No, I don't want to fucking talk to him. I missed out on a shooting star. I was gonna say, call me me, call me prejudice, but I don't like the ugly villagers. I said it. You know, I only want the cute, cozy looking ones. I think it's so cute how the little speech bubbles come up. My lack of dignity shall forever be documented. Huh? Oh, Titans, you need to send me a picture. We're doing the sketch card tomorrow. I literally need a picture right now. Better do it. That was a piece I two punch fist, not a threat. <laughs> he looks kind of cool to you. I mean, I like the design of his eyes. I Okay, personally, personally, like, you know when people have, like, the sunken in eyes? I think it looks super artsy and cool. But, I don't like him. He's rude. His sweater is cute. That's his only redeeming factor. It looks like we're praying. Everybody, everybody, peace to pray for the stars. Looking for something cursed in my camera roll. Don't make it too crazy. Like, I gotta be able to draw it, dude. I love this rhino. That's not a rhino, that's a hippo. Did you fail kindergarten? Oh my god, you guys know the XQZ? I'm talking really loud. My sister's trying to sleep. Um. Um. What'd you call it? What'd you call it? You know the XQC clips where he's like, what is that? A chicken? And it's like an eagle or some shit. Dude, I wish I could find the clip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it later to show you guys. But it's so goddamn funny. <laughs> you know, X isn't necessarily, like, the best, like, role model figure, but he's got some really good moments. Sorry. <laughs> Lamau. Oh, you know what I really want to do? I want to go to the zoo again. But it's also so much walking. That's the one thing I hated about zoos. Because I know the closest zoo to me, like, they got a lot of exhibits. They got an aquarium, too. It's kind of crazy. They got a lot of good summer programs. But it's so big. Like, you're walking, like, thousands and thousands of steps just to get from exhibit to exhibit, right? I mean, now might actually be a good time to go because, you know, school has ended. It's starting to cool down a little bit. Oh, because going during the summer is unsufferable. It's so hot. And, like, all the animals are just sleeping because they're also dying of heat exhaustion, too. Maybe I, maybe I can actually go now. Hmm. I think the last time I went to our zoo... Was... Oh my god, 2018. Holy shit. Oh my god. The last time I went to the zoo was for a date. It was actually so cute. Like, you know the cliche? Going to a zoo on, like, your fifth date. I just like the gift shop. Oh, yeah, gift shops are pretty solid. Okay, just in general. 
I feel like the quality of stuffed animals has drastically decreased. I feel like every single product I had when I was younger, like, in the early 2000s, like, the quality of every single toy was just, like, on another level. I feel like every single toy or stuffed animal you get now will just break in, like, a month. I think they're scamming us. You don't think you've ever been to a zoo? Really? Damn, we need to go sometime. It's, like, it's nice because, like... It's a very chill activity. You don't necessarily need to, like, talk to people. You can just walk around and look at shit. Ooh, who's coming in? Because, like, we have family in Hawaii, so I have a whole bunch of pictures of us going to the zoo and, like, I'm a little toddler. And me pointing at, like, the giraffe or the flamingos. <laughs> well, with webcams not being popular anymore. Oh. I never had a Build-A-Bear. I know I really wanted one when I was younger, but they were just too expensive. Okay, so I think Jamal is pride, right? Okay, what's nice about sending the codes individually is I know who is who. But I can kind of keep track of shit. <clears throat> I know you talked about it earlier, but the reason why I don't do playing with viewers often is like you can't necessarily trust that people will not say like bad words or like gamer words on stream. Like whether it be like in VC or like in the actual like on screen text. So like I think doing subs is the best way to go. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's actually a really cool souvenir, Elizabeth. That's amazing. I hope you're doing well today on the first time chat. I assume you're a lurker, Elizabeth, but chatters, can we get some peace I to yo's? For Elizabeth, if you had your preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. You should go to build. No, I'm not. <laughs> Guys, IRL build a bear stream when? A million subs and I'll do it. I don't think I have a build a bear next to me. I think because we had one at our local mall when I was younger. But um, they closed it down. So I think the closest one is like an hour away or something. But. I'm not going to get it. Because if I get one stiffed animal, I'm never going to stop. Okay, where's Pride? Hey, yo! That's some sick hair. Okay, why are you wearing a wife beater tank top? I, that's kind of concerning, dude. Also, your mask is not over your nose. That defeats the whole point. Anyway, here's here's your re refreshments. <laughs> Build the bear dev in chat. No shot. <laughs> There you go. Enjoy your little snackies. Let's go look, catch some stars. Who's doing some yard work? And your wife beater that tank top, though? Gotta concerning. Oh my god. Not the self report on my dad. But he will do yard work, like, shirtless and in, like, his boxers. It's so, like, embarrassing. I mean, the neighbors don't give a shit. Because I, I would have to say, like, my dad looks really well for his age. Like, he doesn't look like he's 56, you know? Like, he looks like he's in his 40s. Um, <laughs> so, like, nobody complains is a nice way of saying it. <laughs> oh, stop. Stop. Hi, Jamal. Oh, uh, Crystal, do you want to play? I'll send you the code. I see so many men do that. Not saying that I would do it, but I wish a woman could do the same, you know? Oh, ignore that. I'm, I think I'm... <sighs> Is it because it's hot or because preference? Um, preference. <laughs> I'm gonna do another outfit change? Okay. I'm talking to Kevin. Ayo. <laughs> uh, so, I'm gonna- Hi, Wolf, welcome in. Do you wanna play? A little behind on the VODs? That's okay. Yeah, I appreciate that you actually watched the VODs, though. Okay, look at my controller. Old frogs know my controller's been busted for forever. Because I bought, like, a case a year ago. So, I- I took off the tape on this side, because it was getting annoying. I don't know if you can see it, but- No, you can't see it, but it's, like, loose- it's wiggling. So, guys, I have to get a new Pro Controller, probably in, like, November. Oh, my sisters? 
Pro Controller, you know how I said it was busted? It finally worked. I don't know what was wrong with it. But, um... It just wasn't working. Like, it wasn't charging, it wasn't doing anything, but now it works. So I can just steal hers. I sent you two? Okay, I'll look at them. I'll make sure they're good. I sent you the code woof, I think. Wait, did I? <laughs> Watching the last Mario Brothers VOD. Like I said, VOD watchers honestly just skim through till I beat the boss. Like, honestly. Yeah, I sent you the code woof. <laughs> okay, Titans, I love the first picture. It's like, it could be artsy as fuck. Okay, actually, I actually love these. <laughs> you know, I love memers. I can actually do both of these pictures. Because I didn't do your sketch card last month, I actually, Titans. Because we got less cards this month, so I technically have less time to do more cards. Any Oilers? Any Oilers? If you gift five subs by the end of stream today, because today is the last day of September, I will draw your portrait card on stream. Here are a few examples. You know, we got a shell for September. Hey, yo. We got Emmy. I'll show my two favorite cards. I like Pokes a lot, too. Hey, yo. So if you want a portrait card like this done tomorrow, all you gotta do is gift five subs today. Or you had all month, but today's the last day. <laughs> Just a silly, goofy mode, Lomel. Those are dope. Thank you. I appreciate the Yana. Oh, yeah, wait, Yana, Yana. I know... Cause have you been drawing, hun? Uh, I know I'm trying to draw more, but Yana, I know like you're not necessarily as chatty, but since we got some folks here, I can quickly plug my new art channel. It's a separate Twitch channel that is launching next week. I think the first stream is going to be this Monday, actually. So if everybody could politely, at the top of your chat box, click the follow button. It is peace and underscore art. I'm going to be doing painting streams. So if you like art content, go follow the second channel. I would do art on this channel, but I don't want to kill my viewership. So I don't want to kill my channel. Okay, where'd everybody go? Mod check? Oh, I'll, I'll shake more trees. That way you guys can take more fruit if you want. She said, do you love me? <laughs> oh, is that a custom dress you've made, Ariel? I think so. I need to figure out how to do, like, custom furniture or, like, the custom skins. Oh, you added your skins to my shop? Okay, cool. I appreciate that. Because that's honestly cute. I like the ombre, too. Because, like, I need to figure out how to do, like, the custom designs in Animal Crossing. But, you know... Not that I don't have the time, rather, but I just don't know how to do it. Hey, yo, who's on their way? You're so out of practice. That's kind of how I am, too. Like, I'm still, I think I have, like, five to six months on le left of my degree because I'm projected to graduate in, like, June, July-ish. Because, like, I'm still on that two-month break. Um... But I've been wanting to do more, like, physical artwork because with college, it's just a lot of digital shit. So it's not as, I guess, rewarding. So hopefully with the art channel, I'll start painting and shit. Hi, hacker. I'm late again. Just turn on notifications, you goof. But welcome in, hacker. You're addicted to making things, but I just made a new island. Really? Guys, when I hit partner, I'm deleting my island. You know, when I got affiliate, I deleted this island. Oh, we know we made this island. If I get partner, this island's gone. To the curb. Kick him out. Sleep in the doghouse. You know, this is another person who looks like a seven-year-old dressed themselves. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> okay, I think I might actually run out of food. If anybody else comes, I'm, I'm gonna make some more treats real quick. <laughs> the shade. <laughs> What's the point of getting Aurora then? For content, obviously. You know, we changed the title to Looking for the Love of My Life. I get lots of unique viewers. Easy clap. Okay, I'm gonna craft some more snacks. Donde esta? Oh, Aya. <laughs> nice dream stress. You know, once you find something that works, you gotta stick with it, right? You know, I've been milking that Aurora <laughs> clickbait for, what, nine months now? Kind of crazy. <laughs> it feels so sad whenever I don't find her, though. Like, I'm genuinely trying. I'm like, I think I've spent a total of, like, on stream and then offline... At least, like, 30 hours, like, island hopping just to find her. And everybody's like, oh my god, you can just get the amiibo card and save so much time. And it's like, yeah, I could. But, you know, human trafficking is not cool. <laughs> okay, where's Wolf? Let me get your snacks. <clears throat> Hey, yo. There we go. Mod check stars. Are they all gone now? Why are you releasing bugs? That's kind of weird. Can diseases spread through bugs? Because you know how disease can spread through like animals? Can they spread through bugs as well? Man, we have a lot of people here, I just realized. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Picture time. Okay, picture time. Let me pause. <laughs> Wait, I want to sit. I want to sit. Oh, I don't have the sit thing. <laughs> Wait, no! No, I don't want the upskirt show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I always forget. I'm gonna hang out here for a bit. That was disgraceful. Oh, let's... Oh, you can't... You can't catch stars when you're sitting. That's disappointing, lovely L. Aw, you're too cute. Oh no. <laughs> that was really bad. Getting an upskirt for the picture? Oh no. Oh no. How many people can join? I think like six or seven. So we probably got like two or three more slots open. Mosquitoes can you give disease? I know that. But like what about beetles and shit? Cause you know, I be touching bugs all the time. Dude, the other day, as I was riding my bike, for some reason, like flies just kept run running into me. Like they get like as I'm biking at a hundred miles per hour, as I usually do. Because I'm so athletic. Like, a fly just kept following my hand. It kept, like, running into my hand. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I didn't touch shit. I didn't walk in shit. Okay, I think I need to retape my controller. Because it, it keeps wiggling. Yep. Ooh! Somebody's coming. How could you be so... 
you know, all the popular pop songs from the 2000s, I know just one line and then that's it. Hey, yo, we got Carlos in the house. Also, if any chatters you want to join, just tell me, and if you're a sub, I can send you the code. <clears throat> to a woman so hollers. How could you be so hollers? <gasps> oh, no. Crystal broke it. Oh no. Well, shit. Ah, uh, my internet glitched. Yeah, I think it fucked up for everyone. Who hacked the mainframe? Who did it? Okay, well, I gotta make a new room code, so. Big Sag. So everybody politely hold while I get a new code, but we are an hour into stream, so I have to run ads anyway, so. By the time people get back from the ad, I'll have a new code up and running. If you want to avoid the ads, you can subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ads for reviewing. Also, we are literally in the final hours of September. Meaning, if you want to subscribe, it's the final time if you want to get that discount. Um, Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. After the ad, we'll continue Animal Crossing. I'll get a new room code set up, and then I'll resend it to people. Okay, let's get a new room. <clears throat> so I'll resend the code to everyone who is already on the island, and then if anybody new wants to join, type in the chat. I mean, some people are seeing ads now. Oh wait, the code is for subs only. Lamau. Along this road, he lost a soul to a woman so harmless. Okay, I, I tried. That was bad. What if it was me whose internet dropped? Oh no! Okay, the gate is now open. So, I'm going to resend the code to people who are already on the island. And if you want to join now, type in chat and I'll send you the code if you're a sub. Okay, so we have Crystal. Hey, Crystal, I sent you the code. Wolf, I sent you the code. And we had pride. Elizabeth. And then... That was everyone, right? Wait, let's see. Ed, Ed is the last one. Okay, I'm trying to find Ed in chat. Fuck. Dude, Ed, type in chat so I can whisper you. Wait, I can just do it from here. Love Mo. Okay, everyone, codes have been reset. Resent. Hi, Ed. Thank you. Thank you for typing. I appreciate it. Okay, codes have been resent. Okay, I'm skipping this song. It's annoying. I like it, but it's annoying. Oh, you don't think you got the whisper? Okay, I'll, I'll resend it. Woof. 
should be in your whispers, hon. You skip do Lipa, shut up. It's just like the song is so overplayed. Don't give me shit. No, but for real, that song gets old. Yeah, back down, bitch. You know, I always say... Don't see a statement unless you can blindly defend it. You did a college report on that song? Huh? It's either like some nerd shit or like kind of cool, I can't tell. You didn't get it either? It should be in your whispers, but I'll send it again. Okay, is there still room? Yes, I think there is two more slots open, Hacker. I sent you the code. There you go. Oh, got it. So you like you did the psychoanalyze shit. I see. I mean, what grade did you get though? Hi, Crystal. Oh, is that a hike of Jersey? No way. Okay, there's your refreshments. I think if I ever go to a convention or like a comic con, I can't, I don't want to do cosplay, but I want to dress up a little bit. Because there are so many people who obviously in cosplay and then some people who just like slightly dressed up like not necessarily as a character but looked like cool but it's like i don't know what i'd wear but then there'd be like girls in like the full not like the body suits i'm like wow i wish i could pull that off got an a pretty sure hey yo dude i've gotten like an a plus in a college assignment in forever. It's so hard to, like, get an A. I usually get, like, a B plus or maybe an A minus, but I haven't gotten an A in a long time. Because I hate when professors think you're like, oh, in order to get an A, you have to go above and beyond. But it's like, how is A not a baseline grade? Like, it genuinely bothers me. Okay, let's see who it is. Granny system's bullshit? I agree. Hard vouch. Like, I don't think there should be, like, a national standard, like, curriculum. But... Okay. One of my high school teachers, what he did was, if you passed your AP exam, he would bump your grade by a whole letter. Or like a ha like a half a letter. So like if you had a B plus, it would go to an A minus. Or if you had a C plus, it would go to B minus. Plot twist: I didn't pass my AP test, <laughs> so I still pass the class with like a B minus. But I think it's wild how teachers have a somewhat a lot of control over how they grade. Like I don't think there's like a set range like i think how grading worked for my high school primarily it was like 65 percent homework and then 35 percent tests but they didn't have to stay in that range so they could be like 50 percent assignment and then 50 percent test i think one teacher had like 60 percent of your grade was like what you got on tests and then 40 percent homework because like i remember one kid i think it was in math class he literally didn't turn in any homework but he aced and got like a hundred on every single test and he passed with this a D. Which is still a 60. But it's almost like they're scamming the system. Oh, we got Ariel back. They haven't played in 10 months. Dude, imagine all the weeds you have in your own island. SMH. I think the longest I went without playing Animal Crossing was like... Five months. Because when it came out in March 2020, I played non-stop for, I think, like, four months. And then I stopped playing for three. 
And then I picked it up again in like January of 2021. I wish I could play the copyrighted music, but I don't want to get clapped. I explained this the other day, but like, even if you exclude the source from your VOD, now that Twitch- This was like two, three months ago when they added this function. Like, you can basically get live DMCA, like basically like how YouTube streaming is. Or even if you sh show like a 10 second clip, you can still get banned. And I don't want that to happen. I was playing daily until Disney Daylight- Disney Dreamlight Valley came out. Is it full? No way. It could be because several people are trying to get in. I guess keep trying, hacker. <laughs> Wait, just... <laughs> just Crystal sitting there waiting patiently. <laughs> See, like, I've seen a few clips and a bit of gameplay from the Disney Dreamlight game, and it's like... One, I'm not a Disney freak. I'm not a Disney adult. To contrary belief, I'm not a I'm not a simp. <clears throat> and like I'm not ready for a whole nother like RPG game. Like I don't need another addiction in my life. You know, I already got sugar, carbs, hooked on those. Says someone's on their nook phone? Huh? Not me. I never use my phone on stream. I never do. Dude, my typing skills have gotten so bad. My name is Ariel. I had no choice to get it. Okay, that's a good save. We got Ed back. I hate how long it takes for people to come in. Loki annoying. You know, it's fine. <clears throat> oh, someone else! Okay. I guess I'll just sit here and drink my water. Okay, why is nobody coming in? Oh. Are they all like over here? Hey yo. Hello. Okay, so we have Wolf and I think the only person we're missing is Pride and Hacker, right? <laughs> Resident sleeper. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. We'll wait for them to come in. And if it's not working, then maybe try close and reopen your game hacker. Wait, I see stars. Hold. Okay, I really need to date my controller. My controller is literally breaking. And I would like to clarify, I did not throw, I did not break my controller on purpose. I purchased like a hardcover case for it. And in order to put it on, you have to screw. Oh, you have to unscrew it. But we couldn't get the screws out, and then we couldn't screw them back in, so the it's not fully locked in place. And I took the tape off because it was getting annoying, but I have to retape it tomorrow. I feel like as I've gotten older, I've become less pissy- pi <laughs> Less pissy. <laughs> Dude, I hate my stutter. <laughs> your power's going out? No fucking way. Well, keep your fridge closed, 
keep your freezer closed. Not to keep the food safe, but just so your mom won't fucking yell at you. And stay safe, man. And, and close the stream. You, don't be wasting your battery on this. But good luck, man. Okay, let me finish my... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like guys have gotten older. I've become less picky with food. I think... It's like the cliche, oh, your palate matures over time. Like, I know when I was younger, my mom had a thing where, like, you need to try something seven times before you can say you don't like it. So, she would make me eat a certain veggie seven times, and then once I said it, had it seven times, she'd be like, well, now you don't have to try it anymore. And I'm like, exactly. But I'm still, like, I, I can't handle spicy food still. Like, I can begrudgingly have it, but then I just suffer the whole time. You know, because I don't like pain. I'll eat my veggies begrudgingly, but I still won't voluntarily choose them. I'll still, like, pick them out of my food sometimes. I'm on the West Coast, bad luck, I guess. I usually don't have our power go out because I'm near essential infrastructure. Like, I'm basically in the center of town. So, it's very rare when power does go out. The only time the power was out for, like, a day was there was a windstorm and then a tree fell on a power line that was like a few blocks away from my house so everybody's power was out on like let's say the road was here like i was on this side and then the other people were here our side of the road had power up for like a day and like i don't mind when there's n okay i shouldn't say that it's not necessarily as big a problem if you don't have power for a day, but when you're out of power for, like, multiple days, especially if there's, like, a heat wave going on or, like, extreme weather conditions, like a snowstorm, like, it's not necessarily as safe to live in your home. That's why, like, I think a lot of people don't realize if you live in a first world country like the States, it's common for other countries, like, third world countries, to not have stable power. And it's something that we take for granted here. Yo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I, I had more shit for you guys to do, but... <laughs> okay, Wolf's Fit is actually kind of cool. Like, it does look like another kid fit, but it's kind of cool. You look like a... A hip kindergarten teacher or something. Oh my god, you guys know the TikTok trends where it's like, oh, five outfits I'd wear as a teacher. And then it'd have like two like studious fits, and then like the third fit is like something crazy. Like somebody doing like a their strap. Dude, I love those videos. <laughs> Making two people sit here? Somebody come sit with me. Does nobody want to sit with me? This is just like high school all over again. Oh my god. Crystal's making a move. <gasps> They're in. <laughs> okay, I'll get up. Everybody take turns. Oh my god, I've told you guys this story multiple times, but one of my favorite core memories, this was with my first partner. Um, we were- Oh my god, you guys are so cute. Oh my god, somebody take a screenshot, somebody take a screenshot, this is adorable. Anyway. We were hanging out at nighttime. And we were like sitting on a blanket in the grass, and they were braiding my hair. And I was singing a song for them. And that's still one of my favorite memories of all time. Because I'm definitely one of the people where I enjoy spending time with people. Like, we don't necessarily need to do extravagant or exorbitant things. Like, even just going shopping or, like, going to the corner store or something. I enjoy. Hey, everybody pray. <laughs> oh my god. Be kind. Dude, that's so cute. 
I need to get into custom design making. That's what that's my next arc. Wait, this is gonna be everybody on Sunday sacrificing, I mean praying for Cult of the Lamb. <coughs> This pig is Weenie the Pooh. Lil Mao. <laughs> Practicing for your stand up career? Oh, do you have your Meggie Sports fan? Oh my god, the merch? Dude, Crystal's got the merch, guys. Okay, my controller, it's literally... Wait, I think you could... I, can... I think I can show you guys now. <clears throat> look, look how loose it is. You see that? You can hear it clicking, look. Guys, pro controller fun. I need a million dollars. Look, look how fucking loose it is! Anyway. Sag. You can see it detaching, yeah. That's how busted it is. And, like, I can't unscrew it because my dad was screwing it. Like, you know when you... Like, when you press too hard with your screwdriver, it kind of, like, undoes the groove. That's what he basically did to these screws, so they're fucked. But, like, the screws are still tight enough to where you can't remove them. It's just, like, GG's in this controller. It's lasted two years. How long do controllers usually last for you guys? Because I remember, like, our Wii remotes would get busted after, like, a year. But that's because, like, you know when you don't use, like, the little wrist strap and then it accidentally falls on the floor? It's kind of like that. We never threw them, but they would just go flying across the room. Oh my god, stars? They can last up to 35 years. Oops. Well, I guess I got another year of having a busted controller. They make them like that on purpose? Dude, conspiracy. I swear, like car mechanics or like people who do maintenance, it's almost like in my head, I feel like they see other issues, but they just don't tell you. And then your car breaks down after like three months and you gotta go back again. Conspiracy. My sister wants to get the Wii hooked up in my room because like I have slightly more space because her bedroom is smaller than mine. Like mine is still very small. But if I move this chair, then we'll have like a three by three space to play Wii Fit on. Oh, but Chatters, if I do move out, we're setting up the Wii in our living room. We're gonna do Wii streams, guys. Dude, Wii games? What do you have crazy? I know the, <laughs> the Wii games are basically dead on Twitch, but... <laughs> what if we did Wii Fit every day? You know, I could exercise every day. Get new PBs. Well, we could do Monkey Ball on the Wii Fit board. <laughs> Wii streams would go crazy. Wait, is that a golden net? Oh, I've, I've never seen a golden net in game. Oh, wait, let me look at it. Let me look at it. That's actually cool. You can see, like, the hexagon patterns. We can bring the Wii streams back? You know, if I'm clouded enough, then maybe. 
Does that mean GameCube games too? Maybe. Yeah, but definitely, if I have, like, a bigger space for stream, because if, if we do get this property, then I'll have, like, a whole room for stream. Then we will for sure do Wii streams. I mean, I wouldn't make Wii my main game. Because, you know, Wii games are basically dead on Twitch. We can maybe do them, like, once a week or something. That sweater's adorable. I want it. Wait, what's on the back? What's on the back? Stop spinning! I want to see what's on the back. Dude, Scootish would love that sweater. Oh, it's a Pokeball. No, it's a backpack. It's a backpack. I can't tell. I think it's so funny when everybody's like doing their own thing and then everybody like prays for the stars. It's so good. Should we do another Meg Esports fishing tourney? Because I like the fishing tourney a lot. Wowie, a seahorse. What is your guys' favorite, like, OG YouTube video? Because I remember in 6th grade, my friend showed me some Smosh videos. I think the first one they showed me was Cat Soup. And I didn't realize how big Smosh were until, like, 3 years when I got, like, really into watching YouTube. And I was like, oh my god, I saw these guys years ago. I didn't even know they were that crazy. I didn't know they popped off that much. I mean, like, you know, the Holy Trinity, like, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, like, I watch them a lot. Like, during, like, the rise of gameplay creators. But I think YouTube now, I usually just watch a lot of stream highlights. And a few, like, art channels. Like, I think Corridor Digital is pretty solid. They always have, like, really good, high-produced stuff. Even, like, their BTS channel, they still, like, put a lot of production value into it. Many of the fish that spawn on your island are new to you? Really? I mean, fish all you want. You know, our borders and oceans are open. Oh, do you want bait? I can get you some bait, Wolf. He's their favorite? I've like... I've been watching less and less of him, but whenever he does, like, some type of commentary or react, I usually will watch it. Because, like, he's got some decent takes and he's got some not-so-good ones, but... I think it's just interesting to hear people's opinions and how their kind of opinions either change or don't change whenever they gain influence. Are you sure? Yeah, I got I got 10 right here. Yeah, only, I think, best friends can get the shovels, right? Okay, I'm gonna drop 100k. Nobody steal it. If somebody steals it, I'm gonna be really mad. I mean, honestly, I have like 8 million in game, so it doesn't matter, but still, you would break my trust. I meant OG Pewds, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> there you go, there's some bait. Yeah, no problem. I, I played like a little bit off stream before stream started and I farmed a bit more bait. Because I didn't know what we were going to be doing tonight. Because I wasn't sure if stars would spawn right away like they did. Hey yo! So I wanted to make sure if people wanted to fish, I could give them something. Dude, it's not even that late and I'm tired. Oh, I woke up at like 4 a.m. today for no reason. That's why I'm so tired. <laughs> because like, I had a phone call at 8 today. So I was like, oh, I'll wake up at 7. That way I can like, wake up a little bit before my phone call. But then I woke up at 4. Yeah, I see the golden rod. 
You know, I don't think I'm ever going to get the golden tools. The only golden tool I have unlocked is the axe. But that's because I chop trees all the time. Because, like... I think for collecting all the creatures, it's a matter of, like... I don't catch bugs or fish enough to get the RNG to catch them all. That's the problem. I love the contrast of the bright neon lights of the trees and the lava lamps against the natural background. I think it's a really cute touch. It'd be cool if I could distract people while they're fishing. Your rod broke? Oh no. Do you need another one? Dude, you're supposed to bring extra rods. Let's see. Here. I'm only being nice. This one time. Every other time I'm gonna be mean. Oh, you can you can take mine, it's fine. Because if you leave and come back, it's going to be like t a 10 minute process. Ah, stop! <laughs> you made like 10? I mean, those will probably go quick. Oh, I forgot. I was going to chop trees. <gasps> no way. Did you just catch that? No shot. Can I have it? <laughs> no, I don't think you can give it to me. Because you can't place items. I'm kidding. I already have enough sharks. Wait. Can sharks still spawn this time of year? I thought they stopped spawning during... August, right? Oh, I love the... See how the star, like, head bobbles? Wait. It's so cute. Goat streamer for real? No, I'm, I'm just too kind. That's the problem. That's gonna be an issue later. But, you know, we can address that. What I need to... <laughs> How many skins do you have, Crystal? I think it's a bit much. Your closet must be massive. Should I change my fit, too? Oh, I was gonna wear this outfit today. But I was like, maybe I should look cute. I'm gonna actually change. Because I had two different fits in mind. So I wanted to have stars on them. Because I was going to wear this, but then obviously I can't wear the bobbers with it. Well, that's cute. Oh, sharks until... Or sharks are until September. Okay. Well, it's the last day of September. <laughs> Yeah, I got, like, what? Three hours? <laughs> you having a good time? I'm glad to hear it. It'd be cool. Wait, who is this? Oh, that's Ed. Lomo. I think it'd be cool if I ever got to a point where, like, I could bring people into, like, a VC or something. But a VC is so much more unpredictable. That's the problem. Like, I think... I... Okay. Ooh, star. The, the issue is, like... I explained this earlier, but if somebody says a bad word, I can get in trouble. So it's like, how are you gonna make sure... Like, you know when people, like, they have, like, the Discord, like, chatting with viewers thing? Where, like, they do, like, a planned stream? Those people, they get, like, multiple screenings. But I don't have... Like, the mods do that. I don't. Please ban me? Why? You know, 
Well, even if you jokingly get banned and unbanned, you can still get put on- You can still get blacklisted. Like, you know, like the shared ban info? So, like, don't ever ban people jokingly. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> Dude, Ed looks like a nerd. <laughs> Be seeing with you sounds stressful. Wait, with me? Are you saying with me? What do you- ex explain! Explain, please. <laughs> no, time- a timeout is different than a ban. Uh, people automatically think, oh, if you get timed out for a week, that's a ban. It's not- it's not a ban. It's not a ban. A ban is where it's a lot more severe than a timeout. Yeah? What's so scary about me? I am kind and charitable and fun to be around. <laughs> oh, that's actually cool. I love that cloak. No, oh, but what would be what's so scary about me? Wait, uh, wait, hold. Cause you being a streamer, I guess you think I'm. What's the worst thing I'm gonna do? I might like roast you, maybe. Oh, being- oh yeah, okay. You mean like being broadcasted live? That makes a lot more sense. Like, that's another reason why I don't do collabs, because I feel like I can control what I say, but I can't necessarily control what the person I'm collabing with is saying, and it's very scary. Because <laughs> with stream, you can't like cut stuff out. You can't delete the VOD entirely. Like, even if you unpublish it, people can still like screen record it, they can still, like, clip it. But, it's just... That's why I don't do collabs. I would do it more, but I'm just, like, genuinely concerned. Like, I don't think I'm gonna host collabs on my channel. Like, I'm fine with going on other people's streams, so if people want to reach out, go for it. But, in terms of hosting it on my channel, I wouldn't feel comfortable at this time. Until I have, like, proper moderation, or proper mods to help look out for me, you know? Okay, well, I enjoyed hanging out with you today, Elizabeth. I hope you had a good time. And we might do more playing with viewer streams in the future, so check in. You might get to play again in the future. Bye, bye Elizabeth. Enjoy your vacation. Sounds like you had a fun day today. Let's make it tomorrow another good one. <sighs> Put me on, peace, I do. I promise I'll behave. Sure, dude, sure. <laughs> You should start your island or restart your island. Go for it. I think it's nice because I feel like the first few months that you play is like grinding, gathering materials, like getting your base set up, and then it gets kind of boring. Like, it'd be nice if I could have different saves in the game. But Animal Crossing, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, you did tell me that earlier, Titan, that you're playing the 3DS version. That's right. Dude. Ed looks like they got beat up during lunch. And they're gonna go home and cry to their parents. And their parents are gonna be like, It's your fault that you got beat up. We're not gonna buy you new glasses. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> no! No. We, we can't have Ed going home and saying that we bullied him, okay? No, no, no. No, no, no. It was at school, not on Tiblin's Island. You cannot ruin our reputation. We have a clean record here. We don't even have a jail. Everybody's so nice. Dude, it'd be fun if I could do an RP stream. I... I would like to try GTA RP. But I feel like that's a whole nother beast. I so I don't even know how I'd get into a server. Okay, not that I want to. Like if I ever have a bigger platform, maybe I can try it. GTRP is a different universe, yeah. Oh, I missed what Crystal said. Cause I think like some of the first gaming content I actually watched on Twitch was when Hassan was doing GTRP. Cause I remember I would watch his political streams in the morning, and then 
Like, I would get home from work and he'd be doing GTRP until, like, fucking 1 a.m. So I would fall asleep with the- I would fall asleep with the stream open. And, um... So, like, that seems fun to do, but it's like, you gotta commit to your character. <laughs> Tiblin really ends people's careers. Change to the title mods? That aren't here, that I don't have? Yeah, I- I ain't never playing VR chat. That's a whole nother rabbit hole I don't want to go into. Game bot check stars. Yo. I can introduce you to the metaverse though. No, I'm good. I am good. Isn't it funny how they're trying to market like cryptocurrencies in the metaverse? It's insane. I think crypto's a scam. If anybody has a crypto, they need to just fall in for their marketing scheme. It's not worth. It's gonna be people who have crypto, they're gonna get absolutely fucked when there's more government regulation and you're gonna actually get taxed on it. So I would say just don't get into it. It's not worth it. It's gamble. It's it's literally gambling. I okay. Conspiracy. Conspiracy. I think. Okay, I should not say conspiracy. <laughs> it's a bad choice of words. But I feel like a lot of people normalize the stocks market when essentially the stocks is gambling. And same thing with the lottery. It's literally gambling because it's pure luck and RNG. It's no skill. Like, I'm fine with some forms of gambling. Like, if it's a card game... Because that requires some type of skill, like, you know, like, card counting, that type of shit. But the gambling where it's just pure luck, and you're just betting on outcomes that you can't change in any capacity, it's- I think it's the most degenerate form of gambling, and just don't get into it. Like, I've never purchased a lottery tippet, I've never gone to a casino. Because, like, I know that I have an addictive personality, so if I start, I'm not going to be able to stop. And especially when I don't have money. You know, I don't want to go into further debt. Because you hear people, like- Getting new credit cards, spending their whole life savings, or using families and friends' money to feed their addiction is very sad and unfortunate to hear. <laughs> I got a lottery ticket for my birthday and it wasn't it. <laughs> Everything it cracked out to be, let's say. I think the most my dad has won from a lottery ticket is like 80 bucks. And he spends like 1 to 200 every month on lotto. It's like literally not worth That's a good turn off though. 80 bucks for spending 200 a month. Dude, profits down. Oh, stars! Hold. I'm not talking about gambling. My check. I was thinking about it too. There's a lot of subtle things in like games and media that has similar things like gambling. Like if you think about like the Mario Kart item, how it sounds like a slot machine in the animation, it looks like a slot machine. There's a lot of things that are reminiscent of casino machines. Like if you think about it, like the sounds or the animations. This is super interesting analogy, yeah. Cause like, I see it in a lot of kids games and once you see it from, like, an outside lens, you're, like, it's almost like they're kind of getting people used to those sounds, used to the actions. Like, especially, like, you know, like, the gotcha mobile games that aren't necessarily targeted towards children. But, like, I downloaded this bingo game for fun. And, like, so much, I have all the sounds muted. I don't play with any sound or music on. Because it plays, like, cash ringing sounds whenever you win. Even though it's for fake money. Like, it's not real money. Um. It associates a certain type of mental reaction. Exactly. Like, it's that dopamine rush. That's why, like, I don't do mobile games anymore. Like, I just play my bingo game and that's it. <laughs> like, I know when I first downloaded, or when I first played the Animal Crossing mobile game... The pocket camp, I think it's called. Like, I turned off all the sounds. 
Because, like, the sound, sound design in games, it's made in a way to make you addicted to it. And, like, make you get used to the feeling you experience whenever, like, something good happens in a game. That's why whenever I get, like, a game that has repetitive mechanics, I usually will mute the sound effects. Because, you know, I don't want to get hooked. I don't want to fall for their traps. Gumball machines have that kind of weird feeling too. Exactly! That's another one. Because, like, I think with the gumball machines, like, you know, they have a picture of what, like, ooh, you can get this or this in your little capsule. But then it's like, it's one of those things where it's, you're guaranteed to get something, so it's not necessarily like gambling, but it's still like reminiscent of it, right? Oh, dude, I love those coin machines. I remember they had like one th one at our Walmart, I remember, and then one at our local mall when I was younger. And like, I would beg my mom <laughs> to like, let me put a few quarters in. And of course, the way the machine was designed, like each coin type had a different slot and a different path it could take. And I remember like the pennies, nickels, and dimes would go on like a shorter path. And then... The quarters would go like this big like spiral tunnel so like the quarters obviously had the best like path to take so you'd obviously want to put quarters in oh yeah those claw machines are obviously rigged they are definitely rigged Wait, time does change when you go to the island, really? <laughs> You're like, damn, I'm tired. It's only 9 p.m. Oh, shit, it's 11. <laughs> I've always... I don't think... Wait, I did go to an arcade in Japan. But I didn't really enjoy it as much because, like, I didn't know the language. I remember, like, I wanted to try the claw machines there, but I was like, it's not worth. You've been to Japan? Yeah. It wasn't as fun because it was a mission trip with my grandma. Um, like, I didn't get to really do any touristy things. But it was still a good experience because, like, I stayed at our church's, like, town. It's, like, the middle of nowhere town that we stayed in. Um, so we didn't really go to, like, the big... Um, what you call it? Like, the big populous areas. Is it full now? There should be an empty slot, because I think someone left. I'll send you the code, hacker. I think we'll be live for, like, another 15 minutes. Like, we'll go for two hours of time today. <laughs> like, the, basically, because we... I remember I was in Hawaii for a week before and after our trip because we had to get ready because that's where my grandma lives. And then we were in Japan for a little under a week. And basically, we had to wake up at 5, walk to the church, which was a mile away, pray for like half an hour. And then we would do like mission things throughout the day. And then we'd go back to church at 6 p.m. and pray again. So we basically would pray at sunrise and sunset. But we basically just did church stuff for the full week. Oh, bye, Crystal! Hope you have a good night, hun. Thank you for coming in. Show me your fits. They're actually pretty cool. Bye, bye Crystal. Like, I would love to go to Japan again. But it's honestly really fucking expensive. <laughs> oh, someone else is leaving. Sag. Oh. Did the banner just show up twice, maybe? Oh. Why did the banner come up twice? That was weird. You know, I'm not a big weeb, but I would love to go to Japan again. I was also kind of sad because all the chocolates I bought kind of melted because it was really hot in Hawaii because we went... 
Hmm. I think we went in like... It was October when we went, but it was still super hot in Hawaii. <laughs> I'll be your translator. <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, I think someone's coming in. Somebody has infiltrated the mainframe. Another star? My sister took two years of Japanese in high school. And she still doesn't know anything. Honestly, it's such a waste. My mom, she plays Duolingo all the time. And she's learning Chinese right now. And it's so funny, because she will do it. Her volume full at max in the living room. And she keeps on trying to convince me to learn a language. Which is fun. I might, I might retouch on my Spanish, actually. Because last time I, like, actually tried to speak, it was, like, two years ago. It worked, eh, yo? Coming in right at the end. I don't think we've seen Hacker's character yet. Alterna. That sounds like... I was gonna say, like, Atlantis, but... <laughs> I took three classes of Spanish and, you know, none of it? Well... You should touch up on your notes then. Because I feel like with most any other foreign language, I feel like you can understand listening to it better than actually speaking it. Because, like, formulating sentences is so difficult. Since I'm mixed, it's funny. Because when I was working in service, like, the Filipino people would talk to me in Tagalog. And then, like, the... Um, Hispanic people would talk to me in Spanish because like I'm mixed so they can't tell it's really fucking funny Because um, I worked at Subway and like they would say your their veggies in Spanish and I would understand them Because um, like I could talk to them a little bit, but nothing too crazy Hey, yo Oh hack you look actually kind of cool You look like hit Okay, well, here's your snacks. There you go. Enjoy. Go ahead, take a seat. Best you've ever had. Oh, stars! <laughs> Oh, if you want to join, it's via- Do you want to join, Titans? I'll, I'll whisper you my code. It's via Dodo code. Because I don't friend people. Because friending people is cringe. Also, if I friend people in game, then I'm going to get requests when I'm playing offline. And that's cringe. Oh, seems a fitting for... I thought we'd be friends, but now- Nope. I have no friends. <laughs> no, I'm like very hesitant to like be friendly with people online. You know, I've been done dirty in the past. I think it's also because like I have too much shit going on right now that I can't, I legitimately can't handle talking to new people. Are stars important? Obviously, we have a whole stream based around star gatching, dude. Do you have your request off? Yeah. It's because, like, the reason why I'm not gonna add anybody now is because if I ever do pop off and, like, gain a platform, I don't want stream snipers. Because, like, I assume most people have seen stream snipers in streams. Like, you know, like, the big guys. And, like, they just ruin the mood. They ruin the fun. Like, I've had a few snipers come in. Like, they didn't cause too much trouble, but it's still, like, it's still distressing to me to some capacity. Because when I see things happen that don't go according to plan, it really bothers me. And just knowing that, one, somebody doesn't like you enough to, like, fuck with what you're doing on stream. And also knowing that they can, like, mess with you when you're playing offline as well, it's just really disheartening. So that's why I don't friend anybody on any games that I play with my stream accounts. 
It's just like you want to make sure you have like a good stream or a good show. And snipers just ruin it for everyone. You don't even have Isabel yet? Wait, you got the shark, eh? Yo! Good job, man. Wowie. Can I have it? <laughs> I, I sound like the little five year old who's like, can I have it? I was a pandemic frog. Yeah, me too. I played non-stop for the first three months I got it. Dude, what are you doing, hacker? Are you doing, like, your daily exercises? When my... <laughs> my grandpa suffered a stroke. He, he's now passed on. But I remember one of his exercises was literally... Like, sit down, get up. Sit down, get up. Because he, he lost mobility in the left side of his body. So he had, had to, like, relearn how to walk. Relearn how to do everything, basically. It was a very long process. Uh, it took him, like, years to, like, be able to walk somewhat normally. Like, he still had to use a crutch... Uh, a, sorry, a walker in his final years. Um, but every morning, I would help him with, like, his physical therapy exercises. Like, it would be, like, sit up, sit down, like, lift your arms up and down. All that type of thing. Because we have a history of strokes in my family. Like, my dad, he suffered a stroke last year and he's only 55. So, it, we might have a history of early strokes. So, that's fun to think about. But it's still something that, like, I know the signs to look out for. And also, like, the basics of how to help them if they do suffer a stroke. Hey, you champ! Yo. <laughs> Why are you getting right in my face, bro? Getting a bit too close for comfort. Six feet! Six feet! <laughs> Dude, I get so pissed off with people at the store. Like, they stand right behind you in line. And I still wear my mask in public. And it's like... I'm one of the few people still wearing a mask in Washington. And, like, I know Washington is lib central, but it's still... Like, a lot of people don't wear their mask now. And it's like, if you see me with my mask on, do you think I want people, like, that close to me? See, that could happen. And it's frustrating. Like, even pre-pandemic, I made sure there was, like, ample space between me and the person in front of me in line. Because I just, I have a very big personal bubble with strangers. Like, I'm very buddy-buddy with friends. Like, if I'm friendly with someone, like, I don't mind if we're, like, raising arms. But, like, with strangers, I don't want you to near me at all. Outfit four. Oh my god, a blue collar worker! <laughs> I think my favorite fit in game, which is obviously a self report, I really love the maid dress with the bunny ears. You know, classic, but it's my favorite. I'm a sucker for bunny ears. Self reporting, but you know, I gotta be honest. Yep. I'm gonna spend the last few minutes basking in the moonlight. You know, let's end this shooting star night peacefully. You're on your way? Why are you disturbing my nap? Kinda rude, not gonna lie. Wait, shooting star? Get up. Dude, look how heavy I'm breathing. I must be having a nightmare or some shit. You think you gotta go? No problem, Wolf. I know it's late for you, hun. If you gotta go, go. Dude, what the fuck are you doing, hacker? You're, like, glitchy.
Oh yeah, definitely go to bed then, Wolf. Go to bed. How many band competitions have you had? Because it seems like every week you have a goddamn competition. Thank you for the peaceful stream? Of course. I mean, I feel like I've been talking super loud, though. But we'll see you next time. Hope you have a good night, Wolf. You, have, you actually have a competition every week? That's crazy. I would not be able to handle that. You know, there's a reason why I didn't do an instrument. Not because we're broke and we couldn't afford to rent the rent instruments. But it's just too much dedication. Which I couldn't commit to in school. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give some bugs to somebody. I'm feeling a little bit evil. <laughs> I gave you some bugs. Yeah, it's gonna crawl in your mouth when you're sleeping. Well, I don't know what that was. That was weird. It's saying interference. It's because Wolf was leaving, I think. Do you have to? Yeah, try again. Just try again. Try again. That's why it takes a long time for people to get in. Because, like, everybody's trying to get in at the same time. And then, I guess... Nintendo Switch is just dog shit. Anyway. But with the Dodo code, it fucks everything up. I know when the hollering bling. That can only mean one thing. Yeah, let's release another bug on him. Unsuspecting victim. <laughs> did you like my blinky? How did you do that, Hacker? That was kind of creepy. Oh my god! Are we gonna see Titans? Titan, Titan, Titan's face reveal? Dude, is Dream actually gonna show his face? That's gonna go crazy. I'm Dream, by the way, dude. Imagine. He like, bruh. <laughs> so stupid. Uh. Excuse me, am I not allowed to critique people's island names? You know, I live on a zero star island. Sounds about right. I wouldn't want to live somewhere called Bro. Dude, what is your fit? It looks like you're wearing like a Transformers mask that got dipped in blue paint while you're playing Splatoon. I know when you need my love. Oh, that actually sounded pretty good. Gosh, should I become a singer? Oh, welcome in, Titans. Ooh. Here is some refreshments. Coming in right at the end, but you can still get Oh, wait. I can drop it here, actually. There we go. Enjoy your refreshments. Okay, well, we are another hour into stream, so I gotta run some ads. I think we'll hang out here for like 10 more minutes, so. So, if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe. Four ninety nine, just $5. We are in the final hours of September. So if you've been considering subscribing, it's discounted for only two more hours, guys. Two more hours. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch. You can hashtag sub for free with Prime. After the end, we'll hang out for like 10 ish more minutes. But go get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. 
<laughs> That's creepy blinking. Yeah, it's kind of sus, isn't it? Oh my god, stars? I missed. Nice try. Oh, wait, I think you actually hit me the first time. <laughs> My controller is very loose now. Like, very loose. <laughs> this is not good. I should not have taken the tape off. I did not realize how strong it was. Are there any, like, fish that I didn't get yet? Because, you know, I only got two more hours to catch them. Oh, I almost have all the bugs. Okay, I have, like, no sea creatures because I hate the mechanic for deep sea diving. I think it's boring as heck. You know what this feels like? This feels like me having friends over IRL. Like, you just don't know what to do and just sit around doing nothing. I mean, sometimes that's a vibe, but... I think the best part about having friends come over when you're younger is one showing them your bedroom and then also like showing off with like the little trinkets and stuff you have in your room you're like hey look at my stuffed animal or look at my card collection i think that <laughs> it's kind of like that selfish desire to show off what you have that like inherently is very childish and immature but i think it's so wholesome what the cliche thing that my sister would do not my parents but my sister she, whenever I had a friend come over, she'd be like, Hey, do you want to see Megan's scrapbooks? Do you want to see pictures of Megan when she was a literal baby? Like, my mom never did that shit, but my sister did. And I have no idea still why she used to do that. Like, I asked her and she's like, I just thought people would want to see it. I'm like, do you not realize that's embarrassing? She's like, no, I just, I genuinely thought people wanted to see pictures of you. And I'm like, that's, like, so fucking weird. <laughs> Okay, well, my sister and I are also kind of weird, so it makes a little bit of sense. But it's still weird. Okay, I kind of think I want to wrap it up here, because I am getting ready to crash. Wait, is there a star? <laughs> I think I've already like wished upon the maximum of the stars I could have but this place got a lot of tree stumps well, that's because I'm trying to get the stump bugs because bugs only spawn on stumps wait only certain bugs spawn on stumps and you know sometimes I need a place to sit and I also love deforestation and you want to sit together hey meet me after school on the swing set I have something to tell you. <laughs> Are you not going to sit with me? <laughs> Dude. The... How many people have, like, confessed to somebody and you get rejected? Because I think I've done that same thing. Like, hey, can you meet me after school? I think... Wait, I'm trying to... Think. No, I only did that one time, because the other times I confessed to their face. Can I have a cherry? Yay. Let me get you some. I'll look at the bulletin post later. It better be funny, Ed. If it's not funny, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, where's Hacker? 
Mod check hacker? Funny chatters only. Sorry, look at Titans having fun by himself, just jumping back and forth. <laughs> Wait, who said they wanted cherries? It was Hacker, right? Whoever wanted cherries, come meet me. Come meet me in the southwest corner of the island. Oh, there you are. Yep. There you go. Ta-da. Okay, before we go, does anybody want fruit? Anybody want fruit? Because I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for collecting all the trees to get it, right? The last call. God, stop sneezing on me. Dude, I'm never going to open my borders again. You know, I'm going to become xenophobic. <laughs> In Minecraft. No, don't get me sick. I am vaccinated. So hopefully no vaccinations do work. I did I did get the Omicron booster. Dude, isn't that wild to think about? There's people in public who knowingly have like COVID-19 or are sick themselves with something else and still go out in public. I think that's crazy. Like that was one of my biggest anxieties I had when I was working. Like just knowing that there's probably somebody I've interacted at the counter that was sick. Like, we had, we, we got, like, a pickup order, and when I was at Subway, we didn't deliver, we didn't do curbside at our location, and we had somebody call the store, they're like, hey, I ordered a, a pickup, but, you know, I have COVID, can you bring it to our car? And it's like, one, you are leaving your home when you know you are positive. Two, you expect a worker to come into direct contact with you. Because I, I had to call my owner and be like, hey, do you still want us to do this? And they were like, well, you can like leave it on their car hood or something. And I was like, no, I, I, I'm fucking not doing that. Because this was at the start of pandemic. Where like stuff was really popping off. And like there wasn't, they weren't too clear about like how it spread initially so it's like ugh some people are fucking brain dead TLDR if you're sick or if you're experiencing any symptoms stay home until you can get tested um if you visit the CDC website I think there is still a program to where you can per household every person or every household can get free or a few free positive like rapid tests I think they still have that I know at my local Safeway, when I got my booster shot, I was able to get some free rapid tests. Like, for free. And that was cool. Because it was through my insurance. Oh, Sag. You can't go on a date. I mean, you can virtual date. Yeah, it's just as good. Or actually, no, it's not just as good. <laughs> okay, I think... We can go ahead and end it here for now, guys. I would like to thank everybody who came and chatted. Thank you for anybody who did bring gifts. Thank you for showing up here. I had fun hanging out with y'all today. We got some nice shooting stars. We got to hang out and chat. Now, everybody, get out. <laughs> it's time for an in-person date. I feel that. You know, I'm on my incel arc. I'm not touching anybody, so... Not that I can really right now, but... I'm leaving all my rocks? What? Did you bring your rock collection to, to share with the class? Oh, wait. Were you guys drawing shit on the bulletin board? Is that what you guys were doing? Okay, I'm gonna go full Kim. I don't know if you guys drew anything bad, that's why. Okay, let's see what you hooligans did. Look 
guys are stupid. Okay, I can show it. <laughs> what did the apple say to the orange? Nothing because fruits can't talk. Dude, you're a real vibe kill. Scuffed Kirby. <laughs> I mean, that's actually pretty solid. Those are- that's a lot better than- Remember the cupcakes I did during the subathon? That's ten times better. <laughs> oh, that was good. I'm gonna keep those up. I'm gonna keep these up forever. So that's actually adorable. I didn't realize your visitors could draw on the bulletin board. That's cute. Okay. <laughs> you don't trust us? No, of course I don't. I mean, if someone draws a PP, then I get clapped. So, I gotta make sure none of y'all are- Band. Okay, so we did get a few subs today, so we do get to break out the sub journal once again. So chatters, if you're new to stream, anybody who subscribes, give bits, or donates, I'll write your name in our calligraphy journal. And we are in the final hours of September. So if anybody wants to redeem that portrait card that we're going to do tomorrow on stream, all I got to do is give five subs. Exclamation point. <laughs> Who's she know? Are they cool? Are they cool? Okay, so I'm gonna change my title and then get that second camp set up for y'all. So politely hold. I was gonna say something else, but I forgot. Anyway, let's get that camera set up. Oh! While we got some folks here in chat, if you enjoy the art part of streams, or if you're just new to stream in general, it'd be great if everybody could go follow my art channel. It is peace in the underscore art. It should be up here in the top right of your chat box if you are on desktop or if you're on mobile, you can just go ahead and click the link I just put in chat. I'm going to be doing weekly painting streams, so if you want more chill vibes like today. Because I think what I want to do for those art streams is it'll be like talk in the chat, AMA basically every stream. And then also, chill painting while we listen to game music. My overwork is slightly behind yours and it's making me mad. You're overworked? What? Did you typo? Huh? Overworked. I haven't gone live on that channel yet. I think the first stream will either be Monday or Friday next week. Because I was gonna start it on Friday, but I have a doctor's appointment. On Friday now because mine got rescheduled today because my doctor is sick but I think the first art stream will be on Monday so chatters make sure if you're following that channel make sure you have um go light notifications turned on oh wait hold you guys can't hear the game music Lamau. Hold. There we go. Now you guys can hear the Animal Crossing, right? I hope so. Oh, yeah, you should be able to. Okay, cool. So if you're just coming in, if you donate to the channel or use your channel points, I'll write your name. Yep, okay, cool. Because the one thing that I don't like about OBS is that it doesn't capture sound in all of your scenes. It's weird. Or maybe it does, I'm just doing OBS wrong. Okay, so we have Elizabeth, Cass, I think I have purple. 
You made a pentagon. And then to fight it was... You have to be more specific with OBS? Okay. Because, like, I went from Twitch Studio to OBS, and Twitch Studio is, like, so primitive. Like, I know there's so many things you can do with OBS, but I'm also like, it's too much. It's too overwhelming. Like, my main concern, as long as stream visual quality, like, resolution is good, and also, like, if audio is decent, then I can bear with it. I dropped a pen. Yep. Irish Neo Malky and stuff. Thank you for redeeming. What color do you want, Ed? But thank you for redeeming, Ed. What color would you like? Okay, we're gonna do blue here. That way you can keep the gauge vibes here. I <laughs> just paid off my loan in game. Nice. Epic. Oh! I've never listened- I'm listening to This Is America by Childless Gambino. I've never listened to the whole thing. I didn't even know it was a song because I listened to the intro. I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Okay, thank you, Hacker and Kobobo, for redeeming. I'll do your name right after Titan since you guys are in chat. But thank you, guys. I'm on TV. Hey, look, Mom, I'm on TV. Man, five month resub, you're crazy. It's well to think that people have been watching stream for that long. Cause I've been streaming for a little over a year. Affiliate for nine months now. Like time seems to have flown by. But it's been a very fun year. I think definitely one of the most hardest years in my life in terms of like mental health, but I'm definitely on a path of recovery. But it's been a very fun year stream-wise. Okay, we had Titans with a five month resub. Thank you, Titans. Another page done. Okay, I'm gonna draw the guidelines in and then we'll do the channel point names. Yeah, type what if you found me on TikTok. I think the only regular chatter, besides Yana. Yana? Yana was my first viewer. I don't know if Yana's still lurking. If you're lurking, don't feel obligated to chat, hun. Um, but I remember... This was back when I used to, like, actually look in the Discover tab. I think Yana was doing, like, an art stream. Doing pencil sketches, and I chatted. And she was my first regular viewer. Okay, so I need yellow, pink, and green. Yellow, pink, green. Yellow, pink, green. Yeah, so I think Yana actually found me on Discover. And then... I think Coax found me on IG. Like, IG Reels. So, TLDR, not a lot of people found me through Twitch. Which makes sense, because who's going to randomly choose to watch a small streamer that is less than 10 viewers? It's the harsh reality, but it's true. 
So if you want to build a platform, you have to post in other places. That's the only way. But you don't got shit to say. I want you out of my head. I want you out of my bedroom tonight. It's, it's hard to not go flat when I say that line. I think it's... Not that it's hard for me. Like, I know there's, like, a lot of Nintendo creators, but I don't market myself as a gaming person. Like, I very much rather see myself as a personality streamer. Because everybody that comes over from TikTok, they say they don't necessarily watch me for the gameplay. They just like hearing me talk. Or they like hearing my opinions or story times. That's why, like, I don't want to heavily associate myself to one game. Because I think Nintendo's, like, a broad enough niche to where I can do anything. Because, like, I think my main, like, endeavors concerning content creation... It sounds so gross going at content creation. Because, like... I just want to do something that's creative and, like, a positive outlet. And, like, for me... Like, art is still that main outlet. But the reason why I couldn't do art initially is because, like, no one wants to watch an artist who doesn't have a personality. Like, if you just post your work and, like, they don't know you behind your piece, they aren't gonna like you. <laughs> I just play Squid Game 3 while you have you in the background. Hey, yo! Yeah, that podcast with kind of voice? No shot. No way. You're lying. Content creation got a twisted meeting during pandemic. Yep. I feel- okay. I said this earlier. Hot take, hot take. Wait, did I say this earlier during the stream or early in the subway stream? Anyway. I- yeah, I said it earlier in this stream. Where, if you look at a lot of people just starting out content creation, you hear a lot of people like, Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to make. And... To me, to somebody who makes a good content creator, if you gave them a studio budget of 5 to 10k, would they be able to make a good show? Would they be able to make a good product? And if you look at a creator and you think to yourself they would not make something substantial or good, then they aren't good. Hot take. Like, I think it's nice to have people who will watch your stream, like your content, just based off of your personality. But if you can't make something good or substantial, in my opinion, they won't succeed long term. That's why, um, now that I've been streaming for about a year, only now I'm launching the art channel. So I feel like I have a core base. I'm gonna stream something right now. I need to stream. I take a break for as long as you need to. You don't want to push yourself. Because, like, streaming, you're broadcasting your personality. That's why people get burnt down so quickly. Anyway, you got Ed, Hacker, and Kobobo with their channel points. I think also, if you're to stream stuff, try something new. Because I know for me. Um. Yeah, we're going back to donation subs now. I know for me. Like, I felt really burnt out in December 2021. Which was right before I hit affiliate. And it was because I was streaming for too many hours with one or zero viewers. And it's hard when you're that small and you don't have a lot of people watching. Because it's so easy to see your self-worth and merit to your viewer count. But people just have to remember that as long as what you feel is doing is substantial and... Um, what you're doing is good for you, I say keep doing it. You think anybody can stream? Ooh, that's a good question. I think anybody has the ability to stream, but there's a reason why people, certain individuals don't grow. Like, you hear the people being like, oh, I had zero viewers for three years. There's a reason why. Right? Like, there's not always, like, guaranteed success. 
I think a lot of it comes down to your willingness and your ability to be a performer. Hi, Nyx. Oh, hi, Nyx. Welcome in. If I tried streaming, I would burn out too fast. Yeah, if you want to be a streamer, make offline content first, edit yourself, and then stream. That's the best route. If Looking back, if I would have built up, like, recorded gameplay offline and edited, like, highlights for YouTube or TikTok, I feel like I would be bigger than I am now. Like, I'm still very small, mind you. I'm, I'm very small. But if I decided to take that path, I'd be bigger now. Requires a mindset above all. I think it's mindset and also, like, worth ethic. Because I said this yesterday, but for every stream that I do, because I stream for three to four hours depending on what we do, um, I usually spend two to three hours editing every day. So I basically spend full-time hours on stream and offline shit. Um, I think... A lot of people go into streaming assuming that people will love you right away. But with streaming, you have to make people like you over time. Like, especially with any type of new creator you start watching, you don't love them instantly, typically. Like, you have to watch a few of their YouTube videos, you have to watch a few of their streams. Even some people, a lot of people, don't feel comfortable chatting until they watch like two or three streams. So you have to make sure that every stream is substantial enough to where your regulars will still enjoy coming back. New people who are just coming in will enjoy what you do. And it took me a long ass time to figure that out. Like, I understood from the start that I needed to be like entertaining to some capacity. But it took me a while to figure out ways to get or build a core and safe place in the sense of having people want to come back. And like the best you could, way you can do that is quote unquote market your personality in a way to where you're still relatable but also unattainable to some capacity. Like that's why I've DM's turned off. That's why I'm very strict with my rules. Um, uh, like those are the main rules because like as long as you have like, you only need to open yourself up so much. Because if you're either too open, then people will get bored of you quickly. Or, like, if you're too strict, nobody's gonna come, gonna, gonna, gonna wanna come back and learn more about you. I only felt comfy chatting when you wrote me and when I followed. When did you follow, Nyx? Following since it. You followed right after the birthday stream? No shot. Huh. You must- like, your first stream must have been the calligraphy stream then, huh? I don't know why that was a courage. I- I think a big reason why people like the follower journal- like, I usually get a lot of unique viewers during that- that stream. One, because the clickbait is obviously crazy. <laughs> Writing all my followers' names. Insane. That's a good concept on its own. And a topic I do bring up during every single one of those streams is that it's important to acknowledge that every single number is still a person. And I think just keeping that grounded in my mind is what's kind of keeping me through it. I followed you because you kept showing up on my TikTok. Yeah. You know, I guess I harass people's algorithms for a bit. But I always say this. Since I streamed to zero viewers for months. For months. Even just having one person watching, to know that one person is choosing to spend their time, their valuable time in their day with me, is a very nice way of seeing, like, low viewer count. I, I said this the other day, but, like, my target is 5, average, and then my goal is 10. Meaning, if I have 5 viewers for a whole stream, that's amazing, that's great. And if I can hit 10, that's even better. But on days where I don't hit 5, then it's like, even if it's 2, I think the lowest average I've had in the past month is 3, uh, which is fine. But then it's like, that's still 3 people. That's like us sing up, sitting on a couch together. You know? Like, I think I'll have a different mentality to if I ever do grow bigger. 
But that's kind of how I ground myself and how I don't overthink it now. Because I feel like a lot of creators will get hyper fixates on hyper fixate on their peaks and like the best times of the year. When like I knew going into fall numbers would be down, obviously, because you know school's over, summer's over, or school starts, summer's over. <laughs> obviously, Splatoon three is gonna be popular than me chatting and doing calligraphy. Art is dead. Now you got nine of us. Don't talk about live viewer count cringe. No, seriously, other streamers will clap you for that shit. I don't care, cause like, uh. I'm gonna self-report. I have viewer count on the whole stream. One, because it's part of my mod view. I could turn it off, but I think it's interesting to see during the actual stream when people come in or leave. Because I know I usually see a peak at the one hour mark. Because that's usually when like... No, it's okay, Hacker, you don't know. Just in general, do not talk about live viewer count. It pisses a lot of people off. I, I don't give a shit because like I can see my own number. But, like, for people who, like, have their viewer count off, it really bothers them. So just don't. I give you older sibling vibes. Ayo! <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm going for, dude. Okay, we had Castifer with one gift into the chat room. Guys, we're in the final hours of September. So if you like the stream and you want to support, all you gotta do is gift a sub. It's still 25% off. Wild. <gasps> Dude, I've never, like, experienced that. Like, oh, only five viewers or some shit like that. But if you guys... I don't know if anybody has noticed, because we haven't gotten a raid in a while. People raid shame? Yeah, it's... It's a whole thing. That's why I don't raid out to people I don't know. I understand the argument, like, oh, you're giving them a spotlight to some capacity, but it's going back to the point earlier... When you personally hold yourself to a higher standard, like if, let's say for example, I average 90 people. So to me, if 90 is my normal, seeing five people come in, that's like quote unquote negligible when compared to the 90 that is already there. Versus let's say somebody who has 10 viewers and they get five, that's half of their current viewer count. That's why like, it's more meaningful to them. That's why if chatters have noticed, if I ever get a raid, look out for my raid alert because you know how on the raid alert it'll say like, oh, this streamer raided with blank viewers. On all my raid alerts, on screen and in chat, they now say blank raided the channel. The only people who know how many viewers they raided with is me and the streamer. Because I just took out the viewer count from the raid alerts. That way, the current chatters who are in my chat room do not know. That's good, yes. Because, like, I thought about one night, and I know I feel bad if I raid out to somebody with less than five viewers. And, like, you're, you're kind of conditioned to think that way. But it's still, like, that's still five people, that's still five people. I wish more people would turn off the number count for raids if they're a small streamer. I think it makes sense if you're like a large streamer who averages 1k. I think it makes sense to like kind of keep the viewer count on for those alerts. But if you're a small streamer, like less than 100 viewers, like just change your alert notification to just say so and so rated the channel. Do not have the viewer count listed in the alert on screen and in chat. Because I know... I've gotten a few one-person raids, and it's great. I don't care. Even, because, like, it, it, essentially a one-person raid is just the streamer, which is fine, but it's still one person joining the stream. Especially when I'm still very small. One person can be game-changer. Like, if, if that one person can become a regular viewer, that's great. Can't wait for October? Yeah, literally two hours, man. <laughs> uh... It's one of those things that you don't really understand until you stream yourself. Like, I've heard varying opinions from people of varying sizes of their own stream. And... Like, there was this whole debacle, like, a month ago. With, like, streamers that are kind of in my sphere. 
and basically someone is getting like they were basically offline raiding his stream with one viewer so it's basically doing a raid with just the streamer so it's like oh someone's so raided your channel with one viewer and then they clipped him out of context saying like oh one person raids are dumb or some shit like that and it started this whole debacle where it's like oh my god this person doesn't appreciate one viewer raids despicable but it's like they were obviously trolling him but then it brought up this whole point where like oh you should appreciate every single viewer but it's like everyone has their own preference and i think it's really interesting like you know how twitch announced that they're offering more specific um guidelines for raids like you can accept only partner stream raids you can only accept like raids of five viewers or more like they're very specific with the parameters of raids you can receive it's one so you don't get spam raided because there's been cases like if someone comes in to hate raid you like they'll just make a, a lot of bot accounts and then they'll raid you with like vulgar names as their users or yeah just it's mainly to avoid hate raids but it's also like if you're somebody who averages like a thousand like getting a one person raid is obviously someone baiting for attention so like like i said going back to the main point everybody has their own preference on what they deem is acceptable for their channel so they can always make their own decisions i know for me i will accept anything one person that's great five people amazing but still one person is still important and impactful for your overall growth when you're small okay it's hard to see this name can i add you to my autos sure that'd be great I heckin' love when people host the channel. I appreciate you asking, though. <laughs> I, I I think I'm on a few people's auto-hosts. I think I'm on Cokes' auto-host, because I looked at my analytics, and it says I got, like, 10 views from Cokes. And I was like, how? I know I don't have anybody on my auto-host, because I saw this one post from this one streamer who posts a lot to TikTok. Um, and she was saying, since she gets a lot of crossover of people from TikTok who don't know how Twitch works, is if they come to your channel and see an auto host playing, and they see somebody who's live who's not you on your channel, they get confused, and then they leave. So, I thought that was interesting. So the only channel that's on my auto host now is my art channel. Like, I will still shout out people occasionally. But I just don't have an auto host anymore. Like, I think I'll add people to an auto host list again when I have a, a bigger following. Like, I've established my name on this platform to some capacity. I wish I could find that video where she talked about it. But I didn't save it on my TikTok feed. Okay, I'm taking way too goddamn long to write this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm actually stalling. Wait, did I run an ad? Yeah, I run an ad uh, 40 minutes ago, okay. Like, I'm very vocal and open with my opinions concerning streaming and Twitch. Like, I know they're not necessarily common opinions, but I've always expressed that um, I want to have the same mentality towards things, even if I have 1k viewers. Because your morality should not change when you grow. That's so, like, you can see in the way I conduct myself, the way I interact with people, the way I manage my chat room. I feel like I would act the same if I had a lot of people watching. Okay, I might make less jokes, but, <laughs> but that's just kind of how I see things. Because it's unfortunate to see people get... Like, their vision clouded whenever they gain a platform. 
Hyper base takes only happen in small streams. I have a few bigger streamers with base takes. Like, I know NMP LOL. Like, whenever he talks about streaming, I agree with most of his takes. Like, I think the one that I agree with the most is that... Okay, anyway, thank you, Elizabeth. For that two month resub, I hope you had fun playing with us today. Enjoy your vacation on, if you're watching the VOD people, hey. Uh, that was our last name for today, so if anybody else wants me to write their name, you can gift a sub, which is discounted for only two more hours, or you can use your channel points and I'll write it for free. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, I think a based NMP take that I heard a while ago, but he was essentially saying if your chat room is dead, then your stream is dead. And I agree with that statement wholly, because, like, the chat room is there for, one, the streamer to, like, commentate off of, and also to entertain the viewers themselves. Like, my favorite part about watching any stream is just reading what the chat says. Like, if I see somebody with 50 viewers in a dead chat, then that just means the people watching aren't really engaged enough to where they aren't enjoying your content to its fullest extent. Like, I genuinely don't think all 50 of those hypothetical people are, like, lurking. <laughs> A lot of times I'll say something in random chatters are getting quiet. I appreciate that. Like, I... <laughs> I'm, like, I edit all my VODs for Mario Kart and Animal Crossing, and it's really funny to see the... Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go full cam. I'm gonna go full cam. And chat for a little bit. Let's turn off the goals, because we're not farming anymore. Unless... Um... I have to turn this down a little bit. I gonna say. It's funny to see the chat messages that I miss. Like, some of y'all got bangers. <laughs> uh... One thing I do... Try to practice is I don't read every single chat message. Because in my head, small streamers, if you're listening, if you have a fairly decent active chat room, don't read every single message. Because if you give everyone equal attention, then they're going to get used to that attention. Remember, we talked about boundaries earlier. If you want people to be more active, pick and choose what you react to. That way, chatters over time will learn what you deem entertaining enough to react to. Then they're going to they'll learn themselves how you want your chat room to be. Like, you can see... How long-time chatters have kind of changed their chat style. Like, if I could look through logs, I could explain it further. <laughs> what if we do a deep live of Max logs? <laughs> I think not Mac is a prime example. Mac is my dream chatter. Uh, no, I think Batty and... I forgot the user. They haven't been in chat in a while. Dude, I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. Like... Mr. Batty underscore is my dream chatter. Like, just emote spammer, says funny shit all the time. Dream chatter. Mac is good at chatting. Yeah, Mac is, like, a good in-between. You know, they got the emote spam, funny shit, and then also parish Australian. <laughs> but if we look through Mac's, if... I, I wanna I wanna do this. <laughs> oh, no, I remember his name. is Vora Vinci. That's his user. Vora Vinci is very similar to Batty style. I don't know if Mac does it. Um, you're new, Cobalt, but you've only been watching or chatting actively for about a month. Mac has been chatting since April. So, Mac, if we, if I were to look through Mac's earlier logs, you could tell they're being very, like, personal, very parasocial, but over time, Mac has learned... Wait, we're talking sh Are we talking shit? <laughs> are we talking shit? Mac watching the VOD? <laughs> oh my god, attention! But it's just a prime example where, like, if you choose what you engage with, chatters will kind of learn what the streamer, me, in this case, likes. Yeah, Mac is here every stream. They're crazy. <laughs> I mean, I think it's because Mac's schedule is a bit more, um, or less direct than yours, Nick's probably. I mean, it's fine. Okay. I, I don't care if people, like, watch every streamer come in occasionally. It's fine. As long as you enjoy what I do, I'll enjoy your company. My writer just hates the clock. Sorry, it's the song. Gossip about me. Titans tries to be funny all the time, but you know, jokes don't land and they need to try harder. Oh my god, was Titans listening? <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Right round. No, that's true. Uh, sometimes your jokes do land. Sometimes you need to try harder, Titans. Like, seriously. It's one of those things, like, don't be sarcastic all the time. Like, I think... If we're gonna talk shit about Titans... <laughs> like, all your comments are sarcastic. But then there's, like... You don't understand? Sarcasm is not comedy. Okay? There, There's different types of levels to comedy. To me, something... Like this, what the fuck? My Twitter's my Twitter's glitching out. Um, I literally have no presenter reality, dude. Imagine getting grilled. But I think there needs to be a mix to me. Like if you break down my commentary style, it's I think quick reactions in the sense of making connections, key phrases, like you know, catchphrases. Like, I think my new- my new catchphrase is gonna be holy. <laughs> um. So, keywords. Or catchphrases. Quick connections. You know, when I'm like, oh my god, that's just like, blank. Like, that's an analogy. If it's clever enough, it gets a reaction. And then... Also sarcasm. Megan Rose chatters off stream. Dude, change the- t mod, change the title. <laughs> Sometimes I think I find something so funny. It doesn't land. I just giggle to myself. That's kind of how I am. I think it's another thing where, like, people have to get used to your commentary style to find you enjoyable. Like, nobody's gonna like me right away. I understand that. Like, I'm not instantly lovable. <laughs> holy. <laughs> I think the holy meta is gonna go crazy. But it's one of those things. Okay. I have so many different cadences in my speak, like a phrase, the thing is, is a phrase I say all the goddamn time that I have to edit out of so many clips because I'll be like, the thing is, finish the sentence, start the next sentence, the thing is, it's one of the, it's one of those things, see, it's like those mannerisms that I'm trying to like break out of my cadence of speech. and. I almost said it again. I almost said the thing is. Okay. You. It takes time to develop your personal voice. Glad the smile bud is basically extinct. Yeah. When Mac's not here, the smiles disappear. My main point is, it takes a while to develop your voice in the sense of your commentary style, your cadence, your storytelling abilities. I feel confident now in my ability to speak. It's just my stutter. My stutter's so goddamn bad. It's because I have so many things going on in my brain where I think faster than I can speak. And you can tell when somebody is new to streaming. Because, like, sometimes I'll check out some smaller streamers if I see them on TikTok or whatever, and you can tell that they've only been doing it for a few months. I think I have ADHD. I don't have- I, I might have ADD, but I don't have ADHD. I'm not hyper at any capacity. Your stutter isn't that bad, bruh. Have you sat through one of my VODs? I think it's also because I mutter, too. So everything just gets- it's, I get so many fucking comments about, Oh my god, her mouth isn't moving. And it's like, shut up. For chatters who didn't know, I basically went mute for a few months when I was in middle school. I don't know why. It just happened. So I kind of had to like reteach myself how to talk. It was wild. So I, I fucking hate when people talk about my mouth. Anyway, don't trigger me. I should not be self-reporting my triggers, huh? Oopsie. Wait, this is a normal stream. Normies can see this, not subs. Break. Anyway, anybody have any other questions? Because I think I should end. I at least don't want to be saying I crush. Dude. Uh, I was never nervous. No way, I was. <laughs> uh, don't end yet. Why not? My laptop is glitching. Oh, I guess we gotta end, guys. Relationship, relationship advice? Um, there's... 
Give me something more specific. Because I think... You know those love gurus? I could totally be one of them. I see people comment about it all the time. It's annoying. I know. I know. Live two hours away. Two hours isn't that bad. You know, you can see each other like every weekend if it works out. Every other weekend. You can take turns visiting each other. If it's a matter of transportation, you know, you can help pay for your partner's lift every other week or something. Or you can meet each other halfway. You know, take a weekend trip. Two hours isn't that bad. Imagine they're a viewer. Don't fuck your viewers. I don't mean you specifically, but just in general. Don't fuck your viewers. That's grooming. I don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> the Titans is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Imagine they follow you. If, if you found them through streaming, then it's inappropriate. Don't fuck your viewers. Don't fuck your co-workers. Dude, how many, how many grooming stories do you hear in the news? My anxiety is showing. <laughs> Dude, Titans is self-porting. I don't think I could ever have an online relationship. That needs clipping. Just the sound bit. Don't fuck your viewers. <laughs> anyway, back to the main question. If it's two hours, that's not too bad. That's honestly not that bad. Like, two hours? That's a road trip. A very short road trip. That's some people's commute to work. Any other questions? Last chance, free advice with your favorite small streamer, peace in underscore 17. Wait, one question equals one gifted sub. You gift a sub and I answer any question within reason. How do I get rich quick? Um, have you seen those ads on like your IG reels or something? And they're like, oh my god, play this mobile game and make millions. Do that, easy. Should I quit my job? No. Why don't you play Pokemon? Because the a community's dog shit. Where am I gifted sub, guys? I'm, I'm answering these for free. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I've shielded enough this month. Unless. Minecraft stream went never. Literally never. I'm never playing fucking Minecraft. You know why? Because I'm not a child. Also, my audience is already pretty young. I assume most everyone is teenagers to young adult. I don't want babies watching me. I'm gonna be honest. Because babies don't give you money. They give you your parents' credit cards money. Do you see the podcast one? I'm never doing a podcast. You know why? Hot take. Hot take. Fortnite stream is in a few weeks. Hog you. No, Fortnite stream is this month. It's this month, I think. It's gonna be like the third weekend or some shit. If you want to see the updated schedule chatters, go check out the schedule tab. Or you can click on the link to get your... Um, localized time zone. Um, the reason why I don't want to do a podcast. Okay, if you think about it. I want chatters to use your brains. I want you to think. Okay. Got your thinking caps on. All your favorite podcasts. They have a lot of active listeners, correct? And if you think about the top podcasts. <laughs> it's either of uh, somebody who already has a platform like i.e. like a celebrity or, or like an online celebrity or it's a popular topic oh I just did the middle finger oopsie so like you know like the true crime all that kind of niche genre stuff so even if somebody's talking about that topic but doesn't have a platform people will still listen because they like the topic so think do I fit any of those two boxes? No. If you see anybody make a podcast and they're small, i.e. don't have a substantial platform like myself, even though I have 3k on TikTok, I have 600 on Twitch, none on Twitter and IG, I don't have a big enough platform to where hundreds or thousands of people would listen to a weekly or bi-weekly podcast because not enough people know me yet. So if anybody makes a podcast, 
when they are small and don't have a platform, they're an egomaniac. Because think about what podcasts talk about. They talk about themselves to some capacity. Like the main appeal to podcasts is their voice and what they talk about. It's similar to the point I made earlier of people who start streaming and those certain people expect viewers to love them instantly. That's how some people with podcasts think too when they don't have an established platform. Like they just assume that somebody who doesn't know them will love what they do immediately. That's why I would not do a podcast. Even if I had a good baseline platform i.e. in terms like incurring viewership or like a decent follower count. By decent, I mean big enough to get sponsors easily. Going back into your point, Kabobo, podcasts do get sponsors easily because similar to like the whole concept of parasocial viewers, podcast enjoyers love their creators. They love the broadcaster. And when they hear their favorite broadcaster recommend a product, they're more likely to buy it. That's why podcasts get sponsors easily. You're giving these away for free? Yeah. So what should I buy? Gifted subs for me, obviously. <laughs> what do you mean, buy what? Your mom? <laughs> you didn't ask about buying anything. Uh-huh. Okay, last question. Make it a good one, guys. Last question. We have successfully stalled for almost three hours. We have four minutes for one more question. Make it a good one. Oh, I got bit by a fly. Shilling already? Of course. You know, I gotta get a moving truck probably next month. Is water wet? You're dumb. <laughs> what should I eat for breakfast? Your mom. <laughs> Give me a good one! <laughs> no? Okay. Bye, Ed. <laughs> I appreciate hanging out for this long, Ed. I think you said you're... You're American, right? Ad break time? Yeah, it's almost ad break time. Not subs and shambles. What do you guys think? What if I ran automatic ads? Would that piss you off? You wouldn't get any more ad transitions. That'd make you really mad, right? Okay, gen okay chatters. I have a question for you. What to do when bored? <laughs> I was gonna say something very inappropriate, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. It might start with a U and then M with an M is what I was going to say. But that would not be... That would be very bad. <laughs> Something taken from you that would you would want back. Dude, why are you asking the deep shit? Can I give a one word answer? We're in ads all the time to force everyone to sub. Easy. I think we can run ads every 15 minutes. Um, my one word answer? Childhood. One word answer complete. Oh, you are from California? Okay, I don't remember if you were East Coast or West Coast. That's interesting. You can probably figure out what it means. You're an adult. Two. <gasps> huh? Wait, what? Huh? Oh my god, what? Please tell me you got that discount, Nyx, please. But thank you for the five gifted. You're crazy. It finally went through. Thank you, Nyx. Guys, I was trolling. Someone fell for the troll. Oh, is that why you were like, Megan, don't end? But thank you, Nyx. I appreciate you. You were... And now number six on the leaderboard. Thank you, hon. Well, let's see who got it. Let's see. Oh, Christy got one. They were in chat. They did Yana. Hey, yo. If Yana's in chat, enjoy your gifted sub, man. Um. Do you right now? Please like to what? You've been lurking? Hey, yo. Thank you for lurking. Yana. Enjoy your emotes, Yana. I don't, I don't know. Have you even been in stream since I've gotten the emotes, hon? Enjoy your emails, 
to be on up. I really hope you do. But I'm glad I got to hang out with you today. It's been a while. But I like chatting with you, man. I've been wanting to get this month. But thank you, Nyx. I appreciate you. Wait, Nyx. Um, you technically gifted in time for a sketch card. So I think you do follow me on Twitter, Nyx. If you send me a... Wait. Haven't you been here for one of those streams? Um, Nyx, since they gifted five subs by the end of September, they get a portrait card. So, if you want me to do a card for you tomorrow on stream, send me a picture on Twitter. I, I need it, like, t like now, though. <laughs> I need it, like, now, because I'm going to sketch him in the morning. Do you need a selfie? Um, yeah. You, you can send me several pictures. I'm going to go crazy with him? Hey, yo. I think... I think my best emote is Peace I 2 Punch. Nothing will beat it. Nothing will beat it. Wait. Yeah, so Nyx, DM me on Twitter, like, multiple pictures, and I'll pick one. But thank you, Nyx. Thank you for the five gifted. Um, wait. Huh? Oh! Wait, we're on 110 subs, guys. I'm gonna... Now, I have to be darker side on stream. Fuck you guys. It's gonna be brutal. It's gonna be legitimately brutal. Okay, anyway. Yeah, cuz... Yeah, 110 is darker side. Fuck. How do you draw? Ask my mom. Okay, I have to run- I literally have to run an ad right now. Twitch is gonna get mad. Twitch staff, Machik. Okay, new sub below. Yeah, we got the Fortnite goal last night. It's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, Darker Side is ass. The last time I played Odyssey was Darker Side, like, literally a year ago. I think Yana was watching those streams. <laughs> How do you cook? Ask my mom. Or ask your own mom. Or whatever parental figure you have in your life. Dude, can I just say? Y'all have been crazy this month with the donations in terms of support. It's genuinely crazy. So I, I appreciate. What is Darker Side? Um, I, I think you were watching them, but remember? It's basically, it was one of the moon levels. And... I haven't played it in forever, but it's like you would complete one state section and then you would go on like this the electric bulb thing and transport to another section. It was basically a level that had like a world that had eight parts in it and you only got like six hits. It's brutal. We'll play it in a few weeks. It's insane. I was losing my mind. I think it took me like two streams and then I quit. I need to grocery shop. I went yesterday and I got myself some cheesecake. Wait, did I run an ad? I didn't run an ad. Okay, I have to run an ad. I have to run an ad. Um, if you want to avoid that ad, just subscribe. Easy clap. It is September, meaning all gifted and tier ones are discounted for only an hour and a half more. Wild. Or, if you can't afford that, no problem. Just link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. <laughs> Didn't mean to make you reach that go. I appreciate it, though. Anyway, I, ha I have to run an ad. So, we can stall for three more minutes for questions, guys. For only subs, though. Only subs. Though. Have you tried olive oil and vanilla ice cream? No, that sounds disgusting. Wait, is that... Okay. I think it's very insensitive <laughs> when people make fun of food, especially like cultural, cult cultural foods. I think it's very mean to do that. So if that's something that's part of your culture, then I'm sorry, but that does not sound good. Is that kind of like the mustard and watermelon thing? Where like, oh my god, that sounds gross, but it's actually amazing. How long is the story mode for Squid... Or, Split... Split Story? Keep calling it Squid Game. How long is the story mode? I'm skipping this song. It's I Write Sins, Not Tragedies. It's, it's a fine song, but... It's too long. How long is the story? Because... <clears throat> Wait, I have, to, I have to write Nix's names. We heard about it on TikTok? Oh, it's it's like, okay. I, I have to write Nix's name. I totally forgot. Because Nix gifted five subs. 
Oh my god, full circle. I'm writing your name again, Nyx. Holy. I mean, what's the vanilla ice cream and olive oil? Do they just drizzle it on like they do, like, syrup? Okay, I'm getting pens for Nyx. If you want me to write your name, get the sub easy. Good night. Okay. Hope you have a good night. I, I had fun playing with you today. And I hope you had a good time. Have a good night. <clears throat> uh, Deacons in school, I think. They also said they take public transportation. So that obviously takes all day. Sag. I just noticed Ed put peace I to L. <laughs> I have a piece I too am. I okay. You know like everybody's cliche emote for like their emote code and then L is like like Haas L X Q C L. It's like a love emote. And then I made mine an L. Alright, I'm a dip. Bye Titans! I'll see you later, hon. Hope you have a good night. Good luck with your love interest. <laughs> But I'll draw your portrait card, or I'll draw you two cards on stream tomorrow, man. Once again, thank you. Hope you have a good night, man. Yes, stop stalling. We've stalled for like an hour, guys. Ooh, dude, that N is perfect. Dude, look at that. That curvature. Guys, should I go pro? Should I be a pro calligrapher? Talking about art, it'd be great if everybody, literally everybody watching the stream, could go follow my art channel. It is peace in underscore art. If you're on desktop, you can click the follow button right here in your chat room, or if you're on mobile, you can click the link that I just put in chat. I'm going to start doing art streams next week, probably on Monday. We're going to do a painting every week. Keep in mind, chatters, I'm still going to do three streams a week on this channel, but we're just going to do art on the second channel so please go follow i'd love it if you could go follow following is free imagine stalling i know i mean chat gets mad when i end so i think it's for your benefit if i stall right and honestly honestly i'm stalling for september <laughs> Like, I wasn't even going to stream today because I was like, you know, I need a break day. But I was like, nah, I kind of ha want to hang out with y'all. Because, like I said, my doctor's appointment got canceled, so that was a bummer. Don't burn yourself up, please. Yeah, I won't. I won't. Like, the only reason why I've been going, like, hardcore with streams like in August and then September is because I know one I am taking a break from college for just medical reasons and send me like three and I'll pick one next so like I'm starting classes again at the end of October so like streams will slow down I'll still do the three a week and then art once a week so I'll still do four a week when I'm still doing homework and shit but like, bonus streams will be less often. But, like I said, bonus streams are only correlated with any milestones we hit for subs, so. Um. I think I would only genuinely get burnt out with streaming. I need to write and talk. I need to write and talk. I would only get burnt out with streaming if people didn't engage with the stream. Going back to the main topic of if your chat is dead, your stream is dead, like, I can't imagine streaming with a dead chat. I, legi I legitimately can't do it. Like, 
Another reason why I'm not going to play Fall Guys on stream for a while is because Fall Guys is not a game that encourages chat messages. One, because you have to be genuinely so focused on the game to do well, so your commentary suffers. And basically, if you're not talking, your chat room doesn't talk. That's why, like, Mario Kart, I can focus on the game and also look in chat and not lose. Like, you know how Mario Kart, that's my main game, essentially, where we do story times and chatting with chat. And, like, I think SMU Deluxe does decent when compared to other games because it's still a dead game. Like, I'm usually the only person streaming that game in that category when I do stream. But it's because... Um... Like, people like seeing me die to some capacity. <laughs> but it's one of those things where, like, the losses make the win so much better. Kind of like how um, yesterday's stream where it took me a fucking hour and a half to beat the goddamn castle stage. And people sat through it and watched it and it was great. I thought commentary was pretty good on Fall Guys. No, commentary is trash. My, my commentary, it's because I don't know how to commentate a game like that. Full cam. Once again. Thank you, Nix, for gifting five subs. I appreciate you. Enjoy your portrait card tomorrow. Um, it's because I'm not used to playing games like Fall Guys where I have to genuinely focus on the game and give less attention to the chat room or my commentary. That's why my commentary is not good yet. Because I haven't played that type of game long enough. Going back to the main topic I said earlier, it takes a while to develop your voice and your commentary style. Like, if I played Fall Guys for like six months straight, I would learn how to commentate over it. Um, yeah. It's one of those things. See, I, I, I need to stop myself whenever I, I think it's one of those things. You as the viewer may think it's good. I'm talking about people in general. Like, viewers may think it's good if you are regular on the channel. Or if you know of me to some capacity, so you like what I do or like my my voice. But if you don't know me, and if I don't have a good commentary style for a certain game, they're not going to follow, they're not going to come back. Because my main focus to keep this channel growing and, sus and sustainable is to have that core viewership, but also have it shaped and molded in a way to where new people will enjoy watching it, will want to come back to the stream. That's something that I'm still learning how to do. And I've gotten compliments from other streamers be like, oh, you know, you're doing so well. Your commentary is great. You're really engaging. Like, I see new chatters all the time in your chat. It... I genuinely think... I'm doing good, but I could do better to some level. Because, like, it's very hard to not grade your self-worth on, like, your numbers, your income. Especially when a lot of it is viewable by the public. Like, you know, like, the stream tracker website you can go to? And, like, see people's, like, average viewership for every single stream they do, no matter how old it is. I don't let it bother me, typically. Because I have to remember that it took a while to get to this point, And I have to appreciate anything that I do have. But also keep in mind things for the future. Thank you, Nix. I appreciate that. <laughs> P-side to Slay. What would that emote look like? I've heard people say Slay should not be used. Because it's like a... It was popularized by POC. Or like black queer people. So I'm like... I mean, that's why I personally don't say Slay. Like, I'm fine with other people saying it, but it's just not for me. I need to halt. Peace I to stop. <laughs> um. Mm. 
Yeah, Yana is an old cheddar. Yana is an OG cheddar. I'm really glad Yana came up tonight. I'm happy to see them. People, hey, Yana. Oh? Why are you saying oh? Did I say something? <laughs> you guys want to hear something funny? So I posted a TikTok clip. Um, I think it was yesterday. And <laughs> it did decent. Like, I think it got, like, 1k views. It was... It was called Secret Sweat. It did really well on YouTube. Like, it got 4k views in YouTube Shorts in, like, two hours. Insane. It did really well on YouTube Shorts. And I didn't realize why it did well until, like, somebody commented on the TikTok. And it said... Because I was basically the... The commentary style for that clip was like, Oh my god, I was playing with my sister and her friend. And I was, I was absolutely, like, crushing them in Mario Kart. And I said, quote, you know, I was lapping them by like half lip. I was creaming them. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's why that that clip got a lot of views. Because I said something sus by accident that I... It didn't even register to me when I was editing the clip. Because usually, you know, I'll, I'll say something spur of the moment that are kind of sus, you know. Um... But I usually don't repost those clips for that reason. Because, you know, I don't want to reclip myself saying weird things. But I was like, oh, that's why the clip did well, I assume. Because I said it in, like, the first, like, 20 seconds. I was like, fuck. Because <laughs> it got, like, two saves in, like, the first two hours of it being posted. I was like, why did somebody say this? Like, what the fuck? I was like, oh, it's because I said C-R-E-A-M-E-D Lamau. SMH. I was about to comment about that. Oh no. No. Oh no. Yeah, don't be weird. So, like, I didn't even know until somebody commented. Like, I'm not gonna take the clip down because it's still, I think, a good clip. It's still obviously funny. Oh my god, I felt so dumb. Okay, chatters, so we've stalled for literally an hour and 15 minutes. Last question. Last question. Let's get the sub goal off stream. We're not shilling. Unless. Last question. <clears throat> it was funny. Yeah, it was funny, but vulgar. I, tr I try my best to not be vulgar. Because when you're vulgar, then people want to hear you say gross things all the time, and then they sexualize you, and then they dehumanize you, and then they stalk you. That's why, like, my natural comedy sense is very vulgar, but I tone it down for stream for that reason. I don't want fucking creeps. Anyway, do I like watercolors? About right. They're hard to manipulate, though. I, I, I love the techniques where I see people put down, like, a lot of paint, and they, like, dab it off. With, like, paper towels or brushes. I, I love that technique. Like, the kind of, like, taking the negative away from the positive. I think it's really cool. Okay. I think I'm gonna end here. Because it is now 10.30. And my friend wants to call me. So I, I actually have to go now. It was obvious it wasn't intentional, but... Okay, think about it, think about it. Imagine that was the first clip you saw of me. Would, would that leave a good impression? Probably not. That's why That's why I don't post vulgar clips if I ever say like a kind of iffy joke or a commentary style. That's why I don't repost it. Because like I don't want somebody's first impression of me saying, Oh, I fucking cream somebody. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I don't repost it. Because <laughs> like, I can say whatever the fuck I want. Oh, the game turned off. Okay, we're dead air for a little bit. Uh, cause like I can say basically whatever I want during a stream cause like not very many people watch the VODs, like nobody combs through and clips the VODs besides Woof. You know, Woof is a good chatter. They would never clip me saying something bad. Um, but if I repost a clip of me saying something sus, then I'm doing it to myself. I thought you went to bed at 10. Shut up. You know, you guys have stalled for an hour and a half, so I blame you. What an ugly truth. I'm listening to Post Malone on the other side. Okay, anyway. We are done. It's over.
It's over. Wait, Nix, did you send me your pictures? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, you're adorable. Okay, I'll thank you, Nix. I'll pick one. <laughs> Wolf and Crystal completed for Cliff VIP next month. Oh, why? Wait, you're redeemed. I gave you a tier one sub. Fuck, no. Ugh. Sorry, why did I growl? That was weird. Nobody clipped that. No, seriously, don't. Why did you redeem that, you motherfucker? Now I gotta get my laptop out, and like the chat is gonna be like, oh my god, Megan, you're so rich, you have a second laptop. It's probably dead. This was my laptop that was issued to me through college, so I technically bought it through my tuition. That Biden's gonna pay off! Dude, imagine if Biden did a full wipe on student debt. That'd go crazy. You know, I sound like a shit terrid lib whenever I say, oh my god, he, he still gave us 30k in relief. That's so really good. But, you know, I will take fucking anything from the government, dude. I also have two laptops. It's called Layaway A. Yo. Okay. Well, since Nyx, you redeemed. You already you already are a sub because you got Prime. Um, a random any non subs in chat. Any non subs in chat. If you want a sub and you are a non sub, type in chat and I'll gift it to you. You got ten seconds. Oh, um, the reason why I removed those redemptions is because, um, this was a while ago, but someone had followed the stream, they had an inappropriate username, um, anyway, so they had, wait, Nyx, so, I was just saving for a gifted, do you want me Wait, what? Wait, Nix, quickly. Do you want me to gift it to a random chatter or do you want me to save it for when your prime expires? Gift us up? Okay. I was confused. You confused me. Okay, a random chatter, a random non sub is going to get a gifted sub. Let's see who gets it. Oh my god, I got that sub timber discount. Holy shit. I only have to pay $4.10. So wow, we. Wow, we. I'm gifting to my own channel. Hey, yo, I think this person just followed Pog you. Enjoy your ad reviewing and emotes, hon. Hey, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, basically, someone with an inappropriate username followed the channel, and then they used the channel for redemptions. That way, their name showed up on screen and on chat. So, that's why all of my channel for redemptions are more, except for the 251. Because when somebody follows a channel, they get 250 points. So if somebody's going to fuck around and find out, they better follow first. And also, I, I, did, I didn't like when people spam shit. And, like, I told myself also, I want all my channel point redemptions to have some type of meaning and merit to them. Because I hate when I go to a channel and I see, like, a fucking million channel point redemptions and they're all fucking stupid and dog shit. Hot take, hot take. That's also why I don't have sound alerts on. Because people abuse them. <laughs> Not them being silly. It's just fucking annoying sometimes. Because, like, you get chatters who are like, Oh my god, I'm gonna be funny and spam a sound alert for, like, a minute straight ten times. So therefore, one time every ten seconds. And it's just annoying as fuck. It annoys the streamer. It annoys other viewers. It's just non-productive. It's not at... Main point. Main point. Any small streamers, anybody who wants to stream. Make sure anything you have that chatters can do is additive to your stream. Right? You like the redeems where the null locks occurs? Dude, I would fucking fail that. <laughs> Got him. Because, like, if it chatters, if you politely could look at all my channel point redemptions. They're all, like, related to content, right? I gift you a sub. That's content. Make me give money. I post a Twitter draft. That's literally offline content. Highlight my message. That's for you. That's gimmicky. 
Change my wallpaper. Shows off my art skills. Emote only chat. I get to make fun of chat for not being able to talk to me. Sub only chat. I get to make fun of the non-subs and possibly show subs. I will sing a song. Showcase some talent. I make an artist sketch card. Showcase the talent. I write your name on Kuhn's stuff. Showcase the talent. Every single channel point redemption has some type of merit or meaning behind it. And it, like I said, keyword showcase. Like somebody who is just watches the game stream, they might not know that I do art. There's a reason behind everything I do. It's all part. Because, like, you have to see streaming as a marketing thing. Has anyone who's highlighted my message? Chatters. If you are a non sub, or if we are in emote only mode, highlight my message still works. So, if you want to use your channel points, you can use highlight my message. Gotta call your friend, yeah. They're fine. I told them I'd be free in like 20. You know, I lied. <laughs> it, it's cute because my friend they walk home because they they end work at 10 so they usually call me on the phone until they get home it's cute um okay last question <gasps> peace I to guess boo okay last question last one how many times are we gonna say last up your friends use live 360 dude i would never give anybody my address or not address my location that shit freaks me out you know if i go missing just have my phone provider find my phone and then they're like oh well she's dead i'm like well ggs <laughs> okay that was not a question give me a question last question Anyways, question. Yes, give me a question. Also, another thing I was thinking about, the cliche streamer tip that people will use is like, hey, ask your chatters how they're doing or ask your chatters what they're going to do later today or this weekend. It's fucking cringe as hell if you ask that. Don't fucking ask that. Because, like, the way, the way I kind of conduct myself when engaging with chat, I don't kind of force you guys to respond i mean even just now i said give me a question that's different this is for a gag okay the gag we're doing now is you guys keep asking me questions till i like end stream in five hours apparently or until september is over one of the two <laughs> but you have to respond in a way that doesn't pressure people to type back typically because you don't want to force your viewers to feel like they're engaging disingenuously it's kind of like the customer service thing. We're like, oh, how's your day going? Good. Good. It's forced. You don't want to have your chat members feel like they're forced to engage with you. Forcing small talk seems odd. Yes, that's why I don't do that. That's why, if you notice, whenever somebody comes to the stream, I say, oh, hello, so-and-so. Hope you're doing well today, hon. And then I end it there. Or, like, I, ex I explain the concept of the stream if it's a gimmick stream. But I never will question somebody directly unless they have the question first or i try my best not to call out lurkers um i know i called out yana a few times today but it's just because i miss her i haven't she hasn't chatted in a while and i miss her <laughs> but either way i don't typically call it lurkers even if i can if, even if i know they're watching are you happy with the journey you've come on despite the issues you happened along the way and how do you feel about your streaming feature I think the only real issues I've had is like I got follow botted two months ago now. I had to delete the follows. And I think the only other real negative thing is like we got stream sniped in Animal Crossing twice and that was kind of a bummer. Like it's this weird feeling of knowing that no matter what you do, someone won't like you. Either it be because your identity, your race, or just because they don't like what you do. Like, that's something that's still kind of unsettling to me. Um, but that's part of it. Like, I've gotten harassed in real life, in the workplace, by neighbors, 
different levels of harassment, mind you. Not not all the same. Because, like, harassment can mean touching, or it can also mean, like, verbal harassment, that type of shit. Um, and it's unfortunate. Because, like, once you experience any form of trauma, it's hard to not go into immediate fight or flight response in the sense of you're always going to assume the worst outcome, even if whatever is currently going on isn't as severe as a previous experience because you only associate your known experience with the situation. So it's odd knowing that I could potentially have hate watchers or people who don't like me. That's why... From this point on, any playing with viewer stream will be sub only. The only non sub stream will be MK Tourney, which I have expressed probably by January this upcoming year is going to be sub only. Because I fucking hate stream snipers. They ruin the vibe and they're not cool. Um, Those are the main negative things. Like, I, I don't like using the word happy. Because when you say that, oh, I'm happy. It, it kind of forces you to kind of box in what you think are good times. Because as with the cause of every, so everything could be worse off than it is now, everything could be better than it is now. So I think it's, I don't like using the word happy because I never know how my future experiences will be like. Maybe it will get better. Maybe it will get worse. So I don't like using the word happy. Like I'm, I think the better word is I'm grateful for the audience that I do have, no matter how big or small. I'm very grateful for donations, but I'm also reflective that it's a consequence of the work I put in and also how I present myself. The only person whose opinion that is valid about yourself is your own exactly. That's why, like, it doesn't bother me too much. Like, anytime I get a fucking negative comment or, like, a fat comment on Instagram, I'm just like, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> like, to think that a little shithead thinks, like, ten words is gonna ruin my day, I just think it's fucking funny. I think it's funny because I'm like, they wasted their time. They thought they could make me unhappy. It's like, huh, nice try, bitch. And for the future... I need to figure out a way to market myself to where I can be self-sustainable without sponsorships and without donations, i.e. subs or bits. That means either launching a product, starting a business or a service. That's why I want, I want the art stuff to do well. Because, guys, guys, if I can get into the art scene and sell to, like, private collectors or galleries... Dude, I'd be set for fucking life. So, in terms of the future, as long as I'm content with what I'm doing in the current moment and, like, keeping myself occupied and I still find what I do validating, I think streaming is sustainable for me. A lot of people boil down their merit to their viewer count or their sub count or their income, but... I still have targets that I want to hit. I still have goals that I'd like to reach in terms of that number. But as long as I'm having fun and viewers are having fun and people are actively engaging in the sense of they like what I'm doing and they want to see me succeed, they are a positive impact on my life, then I'm going to keep doing it. Have you thought about making TikTok exclusive content? No. You know why? It's one of those things where in terms of like slice of life, I don't want people to know too much about me. Like like my privacy and shit. Trends, I think, are cringe. The reason why I don't like trends is because it's always the same joke. It's the same punchline. People just rehash the same joke. Not good content. Like, people know what the premise is. The only people who succeed off of trends is if they're attractive. And I'm not conventionally attractive. Being honest. 
I'm not self-deprecating. I'm not con I'm not conventionally attractive. Like, I know on my For You page, if I see a pretty person, I will engage with them more. I I do it myself. And, like, I don't want it to be too gimmicky, because trend content is too gimmicky. Totally fair, yeah. Because I don't want a trend video to pop off and then people know you for that trend video. Chatters, think about it. If you found me on TikTok, my most popular TikToks, they're all like gaming clips. So when people come to the live stream, they expect a Mario Kart clip or a Mario Kart story time. When in comparison, you see a lot of small streamers fall into this pit hole. Don't make streamer educational content. Your viewer base will only be streamers, and that's fucking cringe and unsustainable. You want viewers, not streamers, to watch your stream. Example. If my best performing TikTok video is a Twitch tip video, then that's what I'm going to be known for. That's what a majority of your follower count is going to know you for. And a majority of your base is going to be followers. That's why. My most popular TikTok is a Mario Kart clip talking about canned food drives. And it talked about income insecurity and privilege concerning middle and upper class. Obviously interesting because that's a really fucking lefty video that popped off. And I only got, I only got like two little debate head andies. Who were like, well, the people are still getting food. I don't get why you're getting mad about poor people not being able to donate. And it's just like, bitch, you don't understand the classism issue that's rooted in American infrastructure. You don't get it. Anyway, I only have two little shithead debate lords in the comments. And every, every, all like all the other hundreds of comments I got were either agree with my sentiment or be like, yeah, uh, food insecurity sucks. Um, I, I actually watch Twitch stream tips because curious, but I never watched a streamer. Yes. Because... People follow those channels not because they like the creator. They like what they're learning. Like, if you're making content, you need to think about what the viewer will learn from it. What the viewer will... How they will possibly engage with it. And also, like, what their motive is. Like, will it lead to more followers? Will it lead to more comments? You need to think about how people will respond to it. Has your Pikachu ever fell? Yes, it has. You you debate me all the time and it's actually fallen. But it's pretty sturdy right now. Can't catch me getting personal. <laughs> well, meow. Okay, no more, no more, no more. Okay, no more questions. We've I've said one more question like ten times. It's already too much. It's nearing... Guys, should we stall for another hour for September? <laughs> no, I like Pokemon. I just don't like the games. I grew up watching the shows on VHS. So I like the show. I just don't like the games. Because the community is dog shit. You have to call a friend? Yeah. I told them I'd call them at 11. So we, we got three more minutes, guys. We got three more minutes to chill. How do you... Sorry, Imagine is playing by Ariana Grande. Ad break. Nah, we got 20 more minutes until an ad break. Can you? Guys, it says the stream uptime here. If you're on mobile, it should say, like, here, the uptime. Love this one-on-one -on -one chat feel. I think it's nice, but it's boring. By boring, I mean boring for new viewers. That is why I don't open with just chatting at the start of stream. Because think about it. Think about it. If go live notifications take up to an hour to be released, Nick's dude way too based. Literally, what I was about to say. Literally, what I was what I was about to say. Took the words out of my mouth. You read my mind. It's defo boring for new viewers, but ending on just chatting is nice. Yep. Because new viewers are like, 
Who is this bitch talking? I don't give a shit about her or what she's talking about. I'm clicking off. And then regulars, they already know what I'm going to say in terms of like my commentary style. That's why I like the Animal Crossing segment. That's why I play it second. Because I play the main game because people usually like the more engaging gameplay. Because when you're talking about new viewers, they're not going to love your commentary style right away. So if they get used to you and accustomed to you, um, then they'll gradually like your personality more over time. That's why Animal Crossing is second. That's also why it's two hours in the stream. That way, by that point, all go light enough, all go live notifications will be pushed out. Because sometimes it takes upwards of an hour for people to get a push notification. You don't see it on mobile? It, sh it should say right here, dummy. To get your eyes checked. <laughs> um, there's a reason why my stream is structured how it is. I don't do things willy-nilly. I'm very structured with how I do things. And if we're talking seriously, my channel has done really well in a year. Like, surprisingly well. Like, I'm definitely like, ooh, the pandemic streamer Lamau. But it's done really well in a year when compared to other people. And, you know, I want to keep it going. The way... It Make sure your Twitch app is updated. Have you ate in a crayon? No. I'm no. You know, we had food insecurity growing up, but I never had to eat crayons. So that's why my parents ate. <laughs> I love all the deep questions. And then there's just me. You know, Hacker is the comedic relief, I think. And we need that sometimes. Watching how fast you grow the short amount of time you've been watching. Yeah, I popped off during summertime. You know why? Because a lot of kids, not kids, but like teenagers, is everybody has to be 13, right? Oh, it just says the viewer count? Huh. You might have to update your app then. You say crown? What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Huh? Okay, I'm fidgeting. Sorry, it's funny. <laughs> I say crayon. Wait, crayon. Wait. Have you ate a crayon? Yeah, I say crayon. Crayon. Because I have... I don't know. I, I don't know where I was going with that. I was going to say, like, an accent, but I don't have an accent. My crowns. 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 Okay, I know stalling. I've stalled for long enough. I need to go to fucking sleep. My eyes twitching. That means I need to go to sleep. Art supplies are expensive. I bought canvases and I spent 50 bucks. Big Sag. I thought the tags on Pikachu was... <laughs> thought this was glue. Blow Mal, you silly villain. You're so silly. Okay. It's now 11 and 1, so I need to end. But before I go, if everybody here, if you've stuck around this long, I appreciate you. And if you like this little discussion I had with Jet, you might like the vibes of my new R channel. If you're on desktop, you can follow right here in chat. Or if you're on mobile, click the link, twitch.tv slash peace and art. It's essentially going to be I paint. A painting a week and then I talk to chat the whole time and it'll be like vibes like today except I paint and then you get like actual visual stimulus on screen stimulus is a weird word visual engagement you know I like to use big words to sound smart and then I, they don't make sense anyway go follow that art channel go follow please 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 if I get affiliate in a month I'll cry on stream live and then we can clip it and then I get famous I like crying. I hate crying. I, I fucking ugly cry. Wait, you know, may cry. <laughs> well, look at that. May cry. You know what I'm very disappointed about? All my desktop viewers, I have these new Halloween 
emotes for 7TV. Y'all better fucking use them. I want our channel emotes. I know. I was choked. I know. When we get affiliate, then we get emotes. Oh, my shoulder popped. Okay, enough stalling. I need to go. So, chatters. I don't think that worked. Yeah, because the shadow command only works on desktop, not on mobile. They, it's it's in beta still, so. Okay. Um, last thing. Also, if you've stuck around this long, you must like me to some degree. So you should go follow my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Follow all three, because you must love me. Parasocially, of course. <laughs> Um, I will be live again tomorrow, probably 10 or 11 a.m. PST. We're going to be doing the follower journal calligraphy and then the portrait cards. So anybody who gifted five subs during September will get a portrait card. Dude, look how cute Coax is. This is honestly, I think, the best card I've made. It's so good. Emmy's is pretty good, but Coax's composition on that card is nice. Okay. So I'll be live again, 10 or 11 a.m. PSC tomorrow with follow drill and then sketch cards. And we are doing a bonus stream on Sunday where we're playing Cult of the Lamb. So chatters, make sure you have a means of watching Twitch on your computer because there's going to be some exclusive on-screen extensions for Cult of the Lamb. So make sure you're there on Sunday. Anyway, is anybody live? Uh, nobody I know is live, so, sad G. No live today. Or no, okay, I'm, I'm starting to slur. I'm not having a stroke? Okay, I'm good. Peace, i too scared. <laughs> cult, it's a cult of lamb, it's a silly little game. Peace, i too, we love you. Parasocially, socially, of course, but thank you. Anyway. I'll be live again tomorrow. I hope everybody had fun today. And I will see you guys tomorrow with calligraphy. Okay. Bye.